right, it's right into it, man. It's going to be Donnie coming to you from Asylum, Japan. Got my guy back in here again to revisit Lexus King. What up, though? The tiger in the background, Tiger King. <laughs> man. <laughs> tiger look King, at man. That bad yeah. Boy, <laughs> tiger King. Yeah, we might, we might, man, we might, we might get a, might get a YouTube block now, man, because you know they, you know they coming up for money now with the Tiger King stuff, man. Did you, did you, hey, they better relax. Did you watch it? No, you uh, ironically, but I haven't had to watch it. Everybody's yeah. been changing their uh, icons and everything to yeah. that man's in them. So I mean. Shoot, I'd heard the story probably like thirteen times. Yeah, it, and it, know, the, know the names and faces. Yeah, man, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely, it's out there, man. Like I, I watched it, and it was, it was, yeah, yeah it was, yeah, it was just kind of, it just draws you in, man, because you can't believe what's going on. You know, it's some of it's like you know jazzed up for the Hollywood stuff, man. But it was definitely, right. um, yeah, it was like. Damn man, you know I'm doing alright in life, man. <laughs> you doing alright? <laughs> yeah, in life. I mean they were they were raking in money, but you can see that that, that what I took out of it. I always take like an example, like stuff out of it. What I took out of it, they were raking in cash, but it was like not being applied properly and just being blown on like you were meth and drugs and stuff. And it's like, I mean, you can make money, oh. but you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You can make money, but if you ain't if you ain't putting that money in, you know, right places, it's just yeah, it's worthless, man, and everything, man. But anyway, man. Well, art imitates life because look how crazy the real world actually is right yeah. now. Yeah, man, and that's what you know. I was getting like that's why I mean, everybody I talk to you right now. The first thing I ask is like, how's everything going, man, overall for you back there in your zone? Dog, it's insane, bro. Yeah. I mean, like, so we'll roll with this. Last time you and I talked yeah. was the year 2019 BC yeah. before Corona. <laughs> yeah. Because it is wild now, dude. Like, yeah. and I mean, me personally, my whole world flipped yeah, 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 um, yeah. earlier this month. So mm. it's been weird, dude. <laughs> it's been weird. Yeah. And, um, you know, I'm, a, I'm an essential worker, so I have not stopped being out and about and getting to see um the environment that i'm in the local northern california bay area is like heavily populated right and you go from you know gridlock traffic 5 a.m every day for like my whole life mm. or not i'll say at least the last five ten years to vacant roads literally seven cars on the freeway at certain places in yeah. time People have been driving insane. They've been the average yeah, speed seen, has been like hundred. Well, I, I, I seen some of your videos too, man. <laughs> oh, I'll be yeah. wild. Yeah, so I'm gonna get <laughs> uh, send me one of those videos, man, so we can get some 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 rage people on a, on a, on the comments and everything. Because you know, bad publicity, oh, yeah, good publicity. Yeah, yeah. So, oh you, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like this, I can't believe you're out there polluting the atmosphere when the dolphins came back and all. You see all the stuff about. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like uh, they're like when the people go away, the dolphins come back. Like no shit, they. Ain't, Ain't nobody shooing them away, man. No, real talk. So yeah, in San yeah. Francisco, yeah. right? Heavily populated area, San Francisco, um, because the streets have been so clear, it's been coyotes and shit running and, and foxes running all along because, you know, it is heavily populated, but that part of um, the area is a lot of hills and stuff right? because humans have been around, the foxes and stuff have been hiding in the hills and coyotes have been hiding in the hills. Um, but... Now that everybody's gone, you're hearing hella howling all through the streets and, um, you know, these these creatures are running around and it would it would damn near scare somebody if they're walking home or, you know, just out and about. You yeah. Just, yeah, that ain't a dog. Yeah, I mean? yeah it looked so, like it, man. It got like the short, short nose, short face and a pointy yeah, ears. Yeah, and you know, yeah. people are like uh, animal people around here, so they'd probably be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, like you see the video where a chick, uh, she was like, "This is how you greet the wolves," and she had the the wolves like look, like licking inside her mouth. White, what? white, yeah, yeah. Was, if you look it up, man, white, white woman with wolves. You just type that in, and uh, yeah, and then it'll come <laughs> up, man. And she, and she weren't, she wasn't bad looking. She wasn't bad looking either, mm-hmm. man. And like the, you know, she goes up to the wolves or whatever, and like determine who's the alpha by op- oh, op- really? opening her mouth, and a wolf licks inside of her mouth. I'm like, dude. He, he just eating like some rabies like a second ago, and he has rabies. And then and then they wonder how yeah. cats is getting coronavirus. Yeah, you man. An old rabid animal lick in yeah. your mouth. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just uh, like with all this stuff, man. You know, like 
the stuff that people are harping on now, I'm like, dude, that was common even before this came about. It's common sense, man. Like you don't you don't grab a doorknob and then just, and, and right from the doorknob put your fingers in your mouth. You just like yeah, you know what I mean. It's, it's like you shouldn't have to say that to people. Don't do this. Like yeah, no shit, man. You don't you don't like do I'm it. a germaphobe, yeah. right? So I've always had rubbing. I mean not rubbing alcohol, but um, <laughs> hand sanitizer. I might as well right. have rubbing alcohol, hand sanitizer, and everything. And so like sometimes my vlogs when I'm hanging with my boys and everything, they always be clowning about how my hands got Call, calling you Purell. <laughs> It's because I always wash them and I'm always on hand sanitizer, right? Right. So that's always been a thing. And, and then another thing, like, you know, uh, <laughs> I, I notice this a lot and probably somebody ain't thinking about it. And sometimes I put people on game with this. Like, think about it, us, us as men. Like, you go to the bathroom. Right. You've been working on stuff. You've mm-hmm. been touching stuff. And you go and grab your meat with mm-hmm. your all-day hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just something small like that that yeah, you're thinking yeah, about. Yeah. And then you like, oh, well, I ain't putting my mouth on it, but your wife is. Yeah. <laughs> and then you put your mouth on your wife. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? It's always it's something. So those are things that I think about, too. But, yeah, it, it, it's it's weird. For me, it hasn't been that much of an adjustment mm-hmm. aside from um, not being able to go into places uh, without masks, right. not being able to go anywhere, honestly, because everything's closed. Um, you know, I was just in uh auto parts store buying, you know, some things I needed. And dude, it's only one line, one oh, person at the and counter. You, and you got the space. Everybody's bottlenecked. Yeah, yeah it's like yeah. if if we're supposed to be staying away from each other or whatever, they're making it more of a of a uh you know um um piled in situation because it's it's just i don't know shit weird it's, yeah. it's just really weird yeah right now. it's weird it's weird you know it's like you got you got a multiple it's times like this man really kind of like it shows you who people kind of really are man like you know the level mm-hmm. of panic and things like that for me like i was telling oh them, yeah I, I was telling somebody recently man it's like i i, I kind of bring it up a bunch because everybody doesn't know me it's like you know my experiences in iraq and everything it makes it it makes pretty much everything else not, I mean, unless one of my kids are in imminent danger or somebody else, mm-hmm. you know, like near me, it's like, you know, in, in life or death. I'm one of those dudes that, you know, I mean, I ain't gonna let nobody like perish if I can help, you know, help out and stuff like that. But yeah. it's like, that's the only thing about, and it think it's funny that that kind of is closely related to war because you're in war times, you're doing like kind of crazy shit. So like, yeah, 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 normal, yeah. normal stuff. Like I just, it, it takes, I'm, it's not that I don't acknowledge the Corona or care about it. I'm just like, dude, I'm healthy. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm by myself a lot anyway. And it's just mm-hmm. like, you know what I mean? Press forward. Be smart. Because the thing about it, after this blows over, you still can get the flu. You still can get a cold. You still can get, yeah. you know, a staph infection. So germs is not going away. It's, it's part. Nah. We're, we're, I mean, we're made of germs, to be honest, you know, bacteria and stuff. You, you know what I think about, too? Everybody staying inside <clears throat> and basically uh, protecting their immune systems. Right. right? Um, what about when you go outside and your <laughs> immune system hasn't been working for a that, few months? That bubble. Go outside that bubble, man. Yeah. yeah. You about to get wild sick. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, I, you, know. I mean, you pre- so you're essential, so you, you pretty much been out and about every day. And, um, yeah, I've, I've been open. I've, I've been, I haven't been, I ain't had one slow, I mean, other than parts mm. coming in, that's the only thing that's kind of been, uh, for the auto, I mean, you know, in automotive world, no matter what, it's just a way for parts normal. Yeah. So compile, com, compile, com, com, compile or combine that with all this stuff, man. Uh, it's been, you know, some customers don't understand. And that's why I was kind of getting that before mm-hmm. some of the dudes, man, they acting like, you know, I mean, I, I blow it off. Like is, you know, stay safe, but be productive. Some of these young right. cats I'm dealing with is like, all right, whatever, Corona block. Okay, so when are you gonna get my parts? I'm like, dude, like you don't. <laughs> yeah. Are you like fucking oh, watching the news? world getting sick? That's yeah. Cool. Where's my car? Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, and, I, and I'm not in that. I'm nobody's waiting on me because everybody, you know, I'm reservation based, so everybody like knows, you know, I'll get to you when I get to you. Uh, mm-hmm. But like uh, some of the cats, I have to like, I, I have to, I have to scream when the dude like uh, the other day, man, like right in the morning, fucking head's hurting, and I'm like, you yeah. know, I'm like, dude, like you. He tried to come up with some slick shit, which I told him straight up. I'm like, I'll tell him again when I see him face to face. I'm like, dude, like you don't understand what the fuck's going on here. Like, and I'm yeah. like, I'm like, and I said, I said specifically, you young dudes, man, are wild, man. And I, I wasn't candid mm-hmm. about it. And I'm like, he probably's like, you a business. I'm like, dude, I'm a business, but I'm a, I'm the guy. I'm so, a man. Yeah, you're, you're, <laughs> you're I'm the guy, and you're not talking to like the fifth employee down from Bill Gates that's going to butter right. it up. 
Because Bill Gates was like, man, fuck that. Throw this here, throw that. Well, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Just for example, everybody yeah, think, yeah. They think Bill is a nice dude, but trust me, I'm pretty sure he went off with some people. Oh, you <laughs> gotta be, though. If you're a very successful business, yeah, man. you're not gonna be a pushover yeah, at all. Not at all, man. You know? Not at all. And they, and they, so they somebody probably caught... Bill Gates probably gave somebody the hands, gave oh, yeah. him the fist somewhere. <laughs> down the yeah, line. he looked he looked like an unassuming <laughs> dude, but I heard some stories about him that may or may not be true. But you know, what yeah. I mean, but one thing like the dude uh, Jobs, he he was straight out straight out with his though, like he didn't uh, he didn't sugarcoat his. Everybody knew he was a dick. Yeah, direct hey, direct to the point, man. Yeah, but you see his Stuff production. Is what it is. You see his production mm-hmm. now that he's passed on. You see how Apple is kind of looking now. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I wasn't really on the Apple, but what's your Apple Android guy, man? I'm on both. Yeah, you're on both. Yeah, yeah. I use both too. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. keep them both. I got, because, I got, the, uh, I got the, This is a. This is a. The, it was the Android new, mm-hmm. new phone right there. The pink style logo in there. Yeah, sir, you gotta rep that. Yeah, See, I have a. I, at first, I was all Android because I come from, like, one of my favorite phones was the um, was the HTC MDA. Okay. So. It was, you know, Windows based. It was dope. So when Androids came came in, um, I wanted something close to Windows. So I went with Android stuff at first. But then when I started using like Apple products, man, it was so easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just like, all right. So I can't hate on it. It's kind of like yeah, how, they did. You know, yeah, with, yeah, yeah. With, with video game stuff. Like I could say, <clears throat> ah, man, I don't like Xbox. I'm only PlayStation, right? But if I don't have the Xbox to use it to be able to give you my experience and tell you I don't like it, right. well, I'm just somebody with an opinion and kind of like a hater if you just be, oh, no, 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 that's trash mm-hmm. if you don't have it. So I have them. And Android, I could see its strong points. And, and uh, Apple, I could see its strong points. And they both work really good. So now it's kind of like I can't function without the two. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. I'll be doing weird stuff. I'll be on... Uh, this program with the iPhone and this program with the Android, and I only use those specific programs on either phone. You yeah, know. Yeah, yeah so, so it's yeah, pretty much the same way I run it. Cause I got like, like so I, I just because I I got the Android, I've been using that. Then I got like I use the iPad for when I go on the road, and I got the um, yeah. So I use this like a tether to it, throw it up in the dash of the truck and everything. So I'm watching like Hell Tiger, yeah. so I watch Tiger King actually driving, <laughs> driving back from Tokyo. Mm-hmm. Uh, driving back, so I watch like the 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 three the last three uh, which comes back up. So like Netflix, man, is is um is changing everything up and, and stuff like that. And I I wonder if like Netflix is going to go more towards like car stuff because they they got like the little the little like you know rust the riches and like the yeah the, you know they hit the fastest car and they they were like cool but you know what I mean they they were like did did we talk um after fastest car aired. Or nah. what was that? what was that other what was that other thing that hyperdrive? they had the drifting hyperdrive yeah, hyperdrive yeah, yeah we talked we uh, we talked uh, right after it went off but we we didn't really hit on it because we were talking about like you know if you're, you're yeah it was, so yeah. pretty much for the guys when you seen it before I'll link it down there so you watch the last stuff we can go over that stuff again but the um yeah the the uh, it seemed like I don't know if they're gonna maybe it didn't get the numbers they were thinking because I haven't seen mm-hmm. anything about it and I talked to some people who were on it and they were like they haven't heard anything back. They probably not gonna. Yeah. They probably wouldn't be other than like maybe the top three. They probably not yeah. gonna bring anybody back from you know because it, it's like you've already seen them, so it's gonna be. But then in 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 this time period where we have a lot of time, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. No, dude, documentaries have been yeah, king. Yeah. Have you been watching the last dance? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I've been. Uh, yeah. I, I've My seen. It, yeah. God, and we lived through that. Yeah. Right? And, that, and, that, so and that's we saw yeah. it first, but now <laughs> we're like. Yo, they yeah. were throwing hands in the locker room. Yeah. Like, he didn't like him, yeah. but they made it work outside, which is something that's probably super foreign nowadays because mm. when people don't like each other, they wear it on their sleeves so mm-hmm. much yeah. that they cannot function with each other in a working environment without expressing that they don't like each other right. or, or body language. Right. But them cats was like, we got a job to do. And then they ended up appreciating each other having camaraderie through going to battle. You know right. what I'm saying? Like busting ass in 45 minutes, 40 minutes of, of battle. And then it's like, yo, you weird, but you my weird partner. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. Because that was, you know? was cool how they, um, because I, I was I was more intrigued. I mean, I knew like the Scotty Jordan stuff, you know, mm-hmm. like, because uh, like you say, we we lived through it. So some of that stuff got out. The book I listened to, the the, the, the uh, Jordan's Rules, 
I actually yeah. listened to like the audio version of that. So I so I we I knew most of it, but like you say, man, it is surreal to be old enough to um mm-hmm. like I actually watched that game like when he pushed Brian Russell off and shot the you know yeah. So like I was actually watching all like and then I was a big Sonics uh, fan because Kemp. I just John like I just Kemp was, Kemp was dunk on everybody. So back <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so back in the day with NBA Jam, I always had Kemp, Deltless Strength, and, uh, and Peyton. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, that was my team, man. Back when I used to follow, and it's again, man. It's like I went. I'm like, dude, all of that, and then like to relive it, and then see the stuff behind it, and then you know, of course, the next one is probably going to focus on the dad, his dad, and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so and that 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 whole, and I, I didn't know about the you know the. The, the the dudes this you know the two dudes that killed him or whatever like over some material stuff mm-hmm. man so and they said you know mm-hmm. of course it's controversy they don't know if it was you know they were saying he was gambling I'm like dude stuff like that happening people who gamble can't pay debts like Jura didn't have an issue paying got debts. all the bread yeah, yeah so yeah. it's like come on then like you said he said he nailed it he was like a gambling problem is when you can't when you're taking money to yeah, away from he your said, kids I'm competitive, <laughs> yeah man. He I'm said, addicted to being com- yeah in competition. He said, he said, uh, you know, the gambling, I was like, and it hit me, you know what I mean? I was like, whatever, man. He's like, the gambling is a problem when you can't feed your kids. From the, yeah. You know what I mean? I, I ain't got that problem. So, Mm-mm. you know what I mean? I ain't got a gambling problem. That's when you are in the deficit and the mob's looking for you. So, I don't yeah. think I don't think that his gambling stuff had anything to do with his dad or whatever. It just kind of happened to be a, you know what I mean? They didn't know that was Michael Jordan's dad when they did whatever they did. And just kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then again, yeah, they, they, kinda... they they twisting it. So I'm, I'm I'm staying patient. I guess does it air on ESPN first and then Netflix or? Yeah, so Netflix has got rights to it, uh-huh. so they're gonna go ESPN through the series, right. and then it's gonna dump on Netflix, and okay. then you'll be able to sit and binge watch it. Mm-hmm. Another thing that you should watch is a Willie T. Ribs documentary. Oh yeah, it's yeah, called yeah. Up Uppity. I looked for it. It's not. Amazing. Is it is it still there or? Because I looked when you said last time I looked for it, but it's not. It's not popping Amazing. up. Amazing. Bro. Yeah. Um. I'm a. While we're talking, I'm gonna look yeah. for it right now. Because I look for it. Some like something. you mentioned it the last time. I looked it up and I I put the Willie T in there. Then like it came up, but like it didn't. When you go to search, it brought up everything else. But yeah, man. Dude, I, amazing, bro. Yeah, I'm definitely check it out. I mean, and and I know about Willie T. You know, um, but you know, getting to see everything yeah, straight yeah, forward, yeah. and then and then a weird cameo. Is a uh, a uh, a uh, Chris Jenner? Who knew Chris Jenner was driving for <laughs> Roush? What can't Chris Jenner do? Yeah, an Olympian. He played for the NBA. People don't know that he was drafted to the NBA. Yeah, he's a race car driver, and he turned out to be a woman of the year. Yeah. what's Cuz doing? Yeah, yeah, he do everything, man. <laughs> what can't Cuz do, man? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, it, that, it, it, that shit wild. I'm definitely gonna check that out next because I'm, I'm gonna head down to. Uh, I gotta take some cars down to Yokohama, so that's like that. That uh, when I do that drive, man, I, I like people like man. You always doing that drive to Yokohama, I'm like dude. This for me, is eight hours down, eight hours back, and I, I, I just, when I go on the road, man, it's like a reset button because it's like I get, I'm just, be, it's just me, I'm driving, and it, it, a lot of people don't understand that what a, a drive can do for you, man. Like, yeah, I'm not saying go out there and drive because I've done uh, angry driving, which normally re- results in a ticket or. I, yeah, I, I did, yeah, yeah. I did yeah. angry drifting once and wrecked the car, so that don't do that. But you know, this this the drive man can clear the mind and 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 refocus things, and uh, that's things that like you know people out there like it's just a car. I'm like, nah, man. To us, it's a little bit more. You know, what I mean, mm-hmm. so it, it, people don't see it that way, man. But yeah, oh, it's still uh, up there. Oh yeah, okay. I'm gonna check it out. And that's on Netflix, right? Yes, sir. All right, I'm gonna check it out. So, so it how out. long is that drive to Yokohama from where you're at? It's uh, I leave here like on a dot every time, like about two. In between like two thirty to three, the uh, three in the morning, zero two thirty, three thirty, three uh, zero three thirty, and um, mm-hmm. I get down there. I mean, I take a couple rest stops, and then um, I get there. Depending, well, from my area to about Tokyo, there's like no traffic. It's just normal flowing traffic. Mm-hmm. When you hit that big Tokyo gate, then you start getting mixed in. But now, since the the uh, the pandemic, uh, it's pretty much only been essential essential vehicles on the road, which means there's no bottlenecking. So yeah. it's, it's just trucks. All the trucks are going to there. They ain't fucking around. They just they 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 go into their destination. So now I'm going straight from here right into port. So it's roughly uh, about eight and a half hours. Uh, if, if, Jesus. You know, if there's no witch calm, and I, I I mean I did all that in Iraq, man. So we would drive for thirteen you, hours a night. 
you know what's crazy about us here in Cali, right? So yeah. um, we drive back and forth to L.A. I drive back and forth to L.A. a lot. Yeah. That's six hours, mm-hmm. right? Six and a half hours or so. Man, that crazy. is an infinite time to us because everything is just boom, 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 boom. We can get everywhere 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Right. Those long drives to us going back and forth to L.A., if you got some good – people with you or something and you're just flying six hours five hours no big deal but man like my homeboy he came up from florida and he lives out here um for a couple of years right now and he was just sightseeing in la and he's sightseeing and sightseeing and sightseeing and he ends up up here yeah right so it was like 9 30 i'm like man come on through and kick it so he kicked it till like three in the morning or whatever and you know i'm like damn man that's a long drive right he's like Hell no. Nah. Yeah. He's like, that's just five, six hours. You know, that's yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah. like, no, no, five, six hours is a lot. But everywhere else except for Cali, I guess it's a driving culture here. We drive a ton, mm-hmm. but we hate driving far, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So, you, you got, so yeah, that's more like Japan, actually, man, because they don't, um, two hours for them is an eternity, man. They be like, they be yeah, like, my wife be, I'm like, that's why I can't, because I want to take, like, I got the van with the kids, and I was like, well, I can't fit all y'all in a, in a carrier truck. So I was like, if you mm-hmm. want to follow me to the event, but I'm like, I can't trust her to drive more than three hours without not enough. Oh, so really? I was like, nah, man. It's just when I, so when I go on the road, I was like, it just got to be me for now. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. honestly, me for, you know, it's, it's taking the family, you know what I mean? You, you're on the road to race, like you're racing. You're not, you can't yeah, yeah, yeah. follow a kid. So I was like, hey, mm-hmm. man, it's, it's chill here. You know, you got a good, a good, you know, friend, call her over, hang out with the mm-hmm. kids or whatever. But it's not like, yeah, so I kind of like killed that because he wanted to go on the road with me because she's thinking I'm like nah man when I when I go on the road I ain't going to snack clubs and hanging out with girls. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. not sightseeing. Yeah, I don't care how close it is. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't care if yeah. it's just go over here. We could drive by it. No, yeah, yeah. direct route, and yeah. I'm on the move. Plus, you know, plus yeah. it's just a good amount of money, man. It's like three, four k, five k a weekend. So it's like I'm not adding any mm. extra expenses that I don't need, like three hundred dollars on food. You know what I mean? In the Word, one, in one yeah. night. That's not, that's. I'm not in that. I'm not in that range. When you hang out with, when you see dudes like Arito and all those dudes, yeah, they got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got that black card. They got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. And you know us, like we'll bust a move. We'll be on the road if we're tired. Yeah, I'm gonna take a nap right here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. In sleep, the vehicle. Oh yeah, I sleep on the side a, of the road. It was just me. It was just me. I'm yeah. like, I'm not getting a hotel to sleep for two no. hours. Mm. Yeah. So I sleep right in the cab, man. Like they be like, "Yeah, you going?" I'm like, "Nah, I'm going to hang out at the friend house because they, you know, I want to, you know, look look down upon me." I'm like, "Yeah, I'm going right in this part, this dark parking lot, lock the doors." <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, you yeah. tell them, "Yeah, I'm about to go over to so and so's yeah. and go straight to the truck, and yeah. close the door." And, and I, I don't, and also I don't, I don't uh, nothing against it, guys. Are there, I don't, I don't drink, and, yeah. and so it's like, you know, I mean, they go out and they get wasted, and then they show up, and oh, they, yeah. they being top sixteen, top eight battles, like. Loose, hungover. <laughs> <Hell of loose. laughs> so they be getting wild up there, man. But speaking on that, man, like you know, because it definitely is the top of my mind, man. Like, what's the? Have you heard anything? Or I mean, that's you know, of course, don't you know, disclose any information that's uh sensitive. But what's up with the the season? Are they gonna do a truncated season, or are they gonna do? Yeah, what's up? it's gonna be adjusted, but it's at a screeching halt. Like, yeah, they just we just got word this afternoon NASCAR has been canceled for the entirety. For us, Noma, no, for oh, okay. for they're 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 moving it. You know, first it was like, okay, we could play March to whatever. Mm-hmm. All right, now April to whatever. Oh shit, now May to whatever. Like even Formula D just like locked off the whole beginning of the season, and they're just gonna try to run everything. So. <clears throat> Tentatively, Formula D's calendar is going to start up next month, and it's going to be an event behind an event behind an event behind. It's it's not going to be a fun year. For a- AKA no no time to fix your fuck ups. No, yeah, <laughs> screw your car so, up. So that's going to be pretty so much that, showing up screwed up. Yeah, and that's that's the cool thing about that is that's going to that's going to be like a the challenge of driving against a driver, but yeah. also your. Your theories behind building cars, your 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 the turn times and fixing yeah. the mess ups, and also your resources. So, like, pretty much whoever has the best of that is going to win. Yeah. It's really yeah. whoever's got the simplest situation is yeah. going to win, right. um, because the cars aren't going to get any rest period. Right. Um, especially if they really get cracked over the head pretty bad, you're gonna have to find somebody in the area to straighten it out to help you fix it, mm-hmm. to lend you a shop 
area to get it done before you load it up and send it down to the next stop. Right. Um, it's really going to be like boom, 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 boom. Um, and there is already a point in time, like July was always a back to back to back, um, weekend type thing. Uh, you had like mid July, end of July, and then, um, August. Mm -hmm. So it was all those three events were like, boom, 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 you know? Um, but now that's how the whole season's going to be for the majority. So everybody's still optimistic. Some tracks that, um, don't feel like that they're going to be able to accommodate the, the situation is just a no go. So things have changed. Locations have changed. Um, the start of the season is going to be road Atlanta. Like it was when the series first started. Um, and then it's it's gonna be I think back to back L A on the backside of the okay event. so they so, so they definitely gonna do Long Beach uh Long Beach was oh, not okay okay playing games I think um if I look it up right here I think it's gonna be Irwindale okay back to back I think um so yeah it, it's it's really weird and for us like our local grassroots stuff um. We've been able to have events lately, but very spread out. As it's spread out, no spectators and no media, no big pit crew. So it's been like, so that's doable for drivers, right? Mm -hmm. But um, a lot of people don't, you know, they don't, they don't, they don't get it. So people show up. And then I had, um, one of the guys, um, he posted up a schedule or itinerary of an event and I was watching him and I was kind of like, you see when somebody posts something and you're like, ah, that yeah, that wasn't a good move. Yeah. So of course, somebody that might feel a different way than him, you know, one of the people, why are you outside? Why are you, <laughs> you're, you're helping the coronavirus? Somebody called the health department, had the track on lockdown before they showed up sheriffs were there and health department was there they went through a whole big old thing um and it was all clear they had the paperwork and stuff but but that's kind of how it is if you're posting things on social media somebody else is at home wild butt hurt that you're doing something where you're at yeah. and then all yeah, of a sudden I, I, yeah i had to I had to, do, I had to remove a few of those people man yeah, yeah, you got to yeah. send them on their way. Yeah. You be in misery by yourself. Over here, yeah. <laughs> we're doing stuff. So we don't have our main events like Sonoma, but we have um, Club Dr or not. I'm sorry, not Club Drift, but um, the Good Luck League social social events. Um, they've come to get an agreement with Thunder Hill, so we've got that event coming up. Um, a couple of Willow Springs events have been going on as long as you stay with no spectators and no media. So, I mean, now is such a good time to if you don't vlog or do your own media stuff now is the time to do it yeah um because there's no other way you're gonna get media if you're into that if you're not into it for just pure driving that's you're just not gonna get any pictures at the moment right. um and uh then i mean that that brings us into uh, uh sim racing how yeah. how the world has changed yeah. now you can be professional from your living room. Yeah. Yeah, man. That, that's actually I, right before I came in, one of the things I was doing was uh I'm having an issue. I got I, I set up I've got one of my PCs uh that I used before. And I'm having like a lag. Mm -hmm. I played the uh, Settle Corsa and it was fine and I loaded up my Logitech profiler, and then everything went haywire, changed the settings, and um I just did a full reset and it's still like I don't know if it's Something with the system, maybe the RAM has an issue, so I got new RAM coming in to make sure the RAM is good to go. But ba ba pretty yeah. much my everything's delayed, so I mean I'm I'm pretty up to speed on computers, man. And it's like I did a full fresh reset, and it's still the same with, with no logic profiler. It's still like kind of the it's wheel, a delayed input, delayed input. And I I've actually changed three wheels, so it ain't Damn. the wheels, it ain't the so I'm like mm -hmm. you know maybe it's something embedded in a maybe a direct X driver. I got I'll, I'll check it out, but um. It's mm -hmm. something like that, but I don't know. I, I, that's not what I'm talking about. But yeah, that the, the the sim thing, man, is weird because, like I said, we've been on it for a while. We've been on it since the DFGP Black and Blue, 
You know what I mean? With, <laughs> with, the, with the two pedal, the two plastic pedals. Yeah. And before, don't know and I think about I had the one. Be, you had the one before that. Your knees. Yeah, 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 yeah. All that shit between your <laughs> knees and be staring yeah. like this. Yeah, yeah. So like, so it's funny, man. Like you know, I, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure if you've seen. I signed on to the uh, EDC, which is Electronic Drift uh, Championship. I'm a yeah. sponsor for that now. And uh, dude, that, that's I watched that man for about like I watched I watched it, and I'm a busy person, man. I watched it for a solid. 45 50 minutes man i'm like these dude even the bad guys were like good like so so tell me this as a a person that's always been in the real drift scene as well as the sim racing and stuff um as a fan or onlooker is it as exciting to you it's um it's it's like what it's you know what it is it's weird because that thing about real drifting i i'm not a i I don't like watching, so like after I watch about forty five minutes, I wanted to go fire mine up and drive. Yeah, yeah so that's yeah. the that's the feeling I got. But from an onlooker, um, I think is I think it can be. I mean, because look, you look at uh, Gran Turismo Sport, and yeah. and how many people were like like looking at that. And I, and again, man, we, before I, actually before I get on that, because that's that over up a whole box of worms. And man, see your question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the uh, from watching it, I mean, I, I was you know it, it was kind of like you know all right, cool. After about you get a feel of it. So it's mm-hmm. it's one of those things where it'll catch, you know, a group of people for forty five minutes, and there'll be another. They'll share it. Then there'll be another group of people. Um, as far as like sitting there and watching the whole round, maybe it'll be like the maybe the guys that only do Sims will be into it. Yeah. Uh, but it's definitely. I mean, it's run, dude. Like, I, I don't know. If, did you watch the feed at all? I've watched a few. I've yeah. watched Ryan Literal um go in and do his thing. Yeah. And the reason I watched Ryan Literal closely is because he was the ah uh, nah dog. It's a game. My control yeah. is high. And yeah. then now he got a sim rig. Yeah. He like, oh shit, this is the best thing since yeah. sliced bread. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, I feel it. You know, <laughs> so I, I watch his progression as he learns to enjoy it mm-hmm. and learns to um, adapt his driving sense to it. Right. Um. So, yeah, I watched him drive. I watched King Goosey drive in that event. I watched, uh, I forget, guy to drive for the psi um red s13 Mm. he's sim driving i mean i watch all the real drivers get into it because i mean you kind of know the who's who of the sim racer guys the sim only dudes you already know they're gonna jam and throw down i want to see how these pros these guys that are paid to do it in real life Mm -hmm. um how they're adapting to it because that's going to be uh that that's gonna be the tale of the tale Mm -hmm. right because these guys have spent Ten thousands of hours in real cars on these real tracks right. doing the real thing right so if they're the ones that are jumping from real to sim and they're validating it saying hey th- there's you guys got something here like this yeah. is like really good and i'm not mad at it you know what i mean because you and i know as drivers you you ditch a few things you strip you strip it down from your driving right the need of motion all right remove that from from my database mm-hmm. right uh the need of uh vibration from the seat or other things so all of those like feel um added elements we can remove that and we just tend to feel the vibration in the hand the restriction of the wheel and we go from our eyes a lot for motion mm-hmm. and so seeing those drivers jump into it get acquainted to it and then um do good i'm actually rooting for because that's that's what's gonna make it like i told y'all y'all should have been in yeah. on this yeah. years ago when i was telling you because because think of it this way right say people just started giving out sponsorships well if you go to drive aside from your name and oh little old me that can't afford to run with you guys what you run on a pro series but i can hang with you in driving especially on the sim rigs what if what if that's how the world is from here forward yeah. you know what i mean and, yeah, and yeah. because you reneged the offers to get in on it early and you're like nah i don't need that because i got the real thing now nah, i don't need that because i can go outside and touch the real car yeah, yeah, but, but now you, the not, world's you, so different. You, you can't fire that car at three in the morning most places. <laughs> so it's like yeah, you know, what I mean, it's part. like in, in the tra- and, and although we got the car, it's like the, the I mean, there's a there's Luke Fink and the only, he's the only guy I know. He's the only guy I know in my whole five thousand plus friend list that has mm-hmm. a track. 
his he can go to it anytime you want. But yeah, even him, yeah, he got no, he got yeah, he got noise ordinance, so he can't really. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, but it's his track. But yeah, man. So you got the car, but you uh, you go on the street or you go to the venue. So that 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 one I used to throw out a lot. Like I got the car out. Like yeah, no shit. Like it's like yeah, it's like, you do it's like, cool. It's, yeah. So that that, that but is, but that, yeah. But don't drive for four hours. Yeah. Don't don't you know what I'm saying? Get check this out. It's three in the morning. I just woke up and said, F it. I'm going to go from my room in here, put my headphones on, turn that volume up, put my VR on, and I'm ripping while the whole world is asleep. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, man. So, so it, it, it's definitely, man. I, I Honestly, I want to, because I want to see you up in there, man, like in, in one of these competitions, man, because I mean, yeah. like, it's like... I mean, are, is that something that even interests interest you, man? Because I know you got the skill sets. It was like, again, are you just interested in regular drifting, or or um, stuff, so? Man? Like, yeah, I'm I'm so much about having fun, but I am into um, the the professional side of yeah. what is is turning out to be. Right. Um, but like my my I, I guess <laughs> I guess my things would be this right because. It's real world simulation, right? Right. What if I had a real tuner mm-hmm. tune my cars? And guy, you know, spotting, give me information. And all I gotta do is drive. Right. That would be amazing. I get on here, I don't have to go on a subtle course, it'll be like, oh damn, let me figure out the yeah, tuning yeah, yeah, parameters yeah. that they use. They're using Newton meters. All right, hold on. Let me Google this to see yeah. what the what the conversion is to yeah. pound foot torque yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. No, no, no. What if it's just like, yo, Lex, I got you set up. Drive this real quick. Ooh, all right, this is cool. Yeah. I need a little bit more side bite and give me a longer gear ratio so I'm not banging the limiter. Mm. All right, boom, boom, boom. This is done. Oh, yeah, we lit. Let's go. Yeah. Like, one, that would be, like, real cool. Yeah, one of the things, um, because it, it, this is coming from a guy who I built, you know, back in the day when building PCs was, like, something that's cool now, you can mm-hmm. go on Tiger, Tiger Direct and, or whatever. Shout out to Tiger King. Or go to New Egg or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he go to New Egg or whatever and go in there and drop down. So building a PC now is not like that's not gonna get you late. So you it know, an aspect. It of might the, though. Yeah. It might though. <laughs> it, well, it might. <laughs> actually, I take that. I got a story re- regarding that one. But the uh, fit turning the PC kind of like you know it's like the plumber for the porn porn deal. Yeah, co- co- college story. Only yeah. fans <laughs> out right now. Yeah, I went over there to change some RAM and end up banging the chick, man. So it was it was a good it was a good <laughs> night, man. Didn't even change the RAM you though. Changed the RAM yeah. to the RAM. Yeah, you did change the RAM. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, man. The um, like one of the things, like you know, again, I, I'm pretty sure, like it's probably downstairs is pissing me off because I I got like five or ten minutes to jump on and then like I'm having yeah. these issues. So it's probably system related. So I'm probably gonna buy, get a whole new, another updated rig and everything. Cause I built that one downstairs mm-hmm. probably like four years ago, mm-hmm. and uh, it's it's been. I mean, it, it run for 365 days a year. Like it was, it, so it, something's probably burning out in that thing, and yeah. USB conflicts something like that. It, Cause I mean, a full fresh restall is still doing a glitchy, itchy, whatever. Yeah. And it just started right after I got. I did about a 30 minute session. I mean, it was like, nah, man, I'm gonna go ahead and quit on you, man. Cause you, that's all I can take. So, but yeah, I mean, the thing yeah. about it out there is like the, they settle again, I had my thing against it, but I, I'm over it. The mm. con- the content manager makes everything. It's like streamlined, man. So now like you can, you just upload like the, uh, the like real, like what is it? Street, street, uh, what was it? Uh, lift for speed and R factor yeah. had more of a, a curve because it was more, it took a long time. It took, you had to be a computer guy just to get it set up. So for me it was cool, but for most guys, like, dude, put this where, put this where, put real fill, put real fill hill, a real real fill, and you mm-hmm. know, the difference between real fill and the regular is like night and day. So oh, really, like the yeah, so the the um the only the only thing I would suggest, man, is like they got to come out with like a one click install executable file that just clicks on it and it just unlock because everybody doesn't have the time to to set it up or have a buddy come over there and set it up. So that's one thing between. The the uh, the console that'll be always different is this you know you put it in ready to go you pl- plug up and your that's world why and you go. I vouch for console yeah. so much yeah. because yeah dude if I get off of work or if I'm doing something because I'm out and about I'm outside right I want to do something I'm riding I'm driving I'm at an event I'm doing something and guys are like yo where you at are you home no I'll be home in a little bit all right when you get home get on yeah I don't want to get on fire up install this grab this update file 
Nah. Yeah. PlayStation's doing it automatically. Yeah. Xbox is doing it automatically. When I go turn it on, um, I'm ready to rock, you yeah. know. But it, I will I will say that in, in the PC defense, they do um it is again, it's way better than it was before. Um yeah. I was again I stayed away from a settle for a while, so when I came back and I had the content manager again, you you have it installed, you download the content manager, and it's like um the, I mean the thing about the PC is just the, the where it gets everybody it's just the mod like the the ability to modify and also the tracks so you can add you, know, you can add the tracks you can add the uh, cars yeah. things like that but again even from an experienced guy I'm like damn man it's like it's like I, I'm I'm not overwhelmed because I I'm used to like the drop down menus but it's like mm-hmm. they should have a they should have a simple mode for the dudes who just want to get yeah. on and, get, and go and then the advanced mode for the guys so the guys is only one view. So you just see, you, you if you click the wrong thing, man, it could change the one checkbox could change the entire feel of your mm-hmm. setup, man. Which again, with console is just getting plug your your twenty seven twenty five in, <laughs> use your yeah. adapter and, and and go. So, you know, it is it, a give and take. But if they streamline, I think if they streamline that more, they'll have just as many users as console. In a nutshell, mm-hmm. yo. So, so the the new games like um. I was not a fan of Car X Drift, right? Yeah, Car X yeah. Drift Online. Man, it's good, dude. Yeah. And I don't like that it's that good. <laughs> I didn't get I, I didn't don't. get I didn't get on until after you played it and I, it took about fifteen laps and then I was like then I was like I paused it like dude, just do do what you do for real. Went back out there yeah. and actually, and it actually worked. I'm like, you know, you turn in you because you gotta get out you got guys out there who drift a lot, you gotta if you wanna play it, you gotta you gotta just Throw out the the G forces because you're not gonna feel it, and this strip this, it, yeah, this, 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 strip, just strip it, it. this this, and then you can, you still can feel it undisturbed of your will if your will is decent, mm-hmm. and you got everything set up. So once you do that, you just you 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 accelerate, you do a, a little mind, you jab in, and then you you counter stir like just how you would do it, and it mm-hmm. it actually works. So when you think, I think when you do it, you in the game you're looking at it on the screen, you're stirring like, all right, what do I do next? It's already too late. You already spun out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah you were. <laughs> Half second behind the move, yeah, dude. Out. It's it, it it was so good, and yeah. I don't like that it's good, <laughs> man. Because um, what it's what it's doing right is they've done everything right and did it really simple. Yeah, and they spent more time on their physic than they did look of the game right. and other little things, right? Because right? once you're really into it, like once you're really immersed into it. I don't give a damn how the textures look. Yeah. I don't care how the lighting looked. This is driving like really damn good, you know? So, you know, you get into that and then you've got to go back to the old games and, and you're like, yeah, this is good, but yeah, these cats kind of came through and did it, you know? They, they keep they keep up in it, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a, a another game that guys were reviewing. The I looked 21? at it. Yes, 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 yeah. yes. I, yeah. I looked at it, but what they were reviewing was um, like putting on hella parts and how in depth it was, like building the car. Like I don't know, they were saying like you gotta build your car, put your car together, and and it goes down to you know nothing and bolt and stuff. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's like you. Uh, the one thing is uh, it's funny. On a game, they like they did like the, I'm like man, come on man, you can show these motherfuckers how to do because like they had the crank, the goddamn crankshaft on the floor, the cam, like they just had all <laughs> the shit on the floor, which you know you've been in some people's garages, man. And they just like a fucking grenade hit it, and I'm yeah. like, hey, just put that shit on the shelf, man. Like am I, I'm really bit meticulous about that because I like to keep shit clean, but mm-hmm. in the game, like it is like that. You you just you take the crank, you click on it, you move it over to the block. You just it's like you just. So I mean, it's cool because like it, it's like it show to do like, hey, you put you gotta put the crank in first before you put the, you know, what I mean, before you put this in or blah blah blah. Oh, so it is process driven like that. It won't allow you to throw the head on before you throw cams. Yeah, and yeah, stuff you can't. In. Yeah, you can't. You can't throw the head on to put the pistons in from the bottom or some shit like that. It's right, like, right, or right. Or just hammering right. in okay. with it. Yeah. So they. So it's like I, I didn't get that. I didn't get to that because I just wanted to. I actually I stripped everything off and I um I tested dirt. Um, it was still doing a delay because I thought it was just a settle and yeah. I, I, a settle was the, so it's not it's not the uh, I don't know if it's actually what I'm gonna do next is install a game outside of Steam and see if right. that see if I still get that if see if it's Steam related because I don't know what the fuck I'm, right now I'm like kind of baffled but anyway 
I, yeah. I went to go test it. It looks it, it looks cool. The biggest thing about this drift it was it was drift nineteen because I posted about it like two years ago. It was drift nineteen. Mm-hmm. They were development from Poland. Then I was trying to get on the beta test. I was like, you know, I'm a pro driver, all this shit. They didn't hit me back up because they wanted to get like, you know, the the the, the JRs and the King Gushies and all those guys on it. Yeah. And uh and so they they end up using a lot of the European drivers to um to test it. And they did, they laser scanned, um, they actually went to Ibisu. They got the rights mm-hmm. from Kumakubo. So they actually laser scanned. So like the Ibisu is like the actual size. Like they laser scanned everything okay. and uh they have the actual they got the toge course. It beats you like all the tracks that the guys want. It comes in their yeah. stock, and of course, it's PC uh, for this particular one. Then you'll be able to add more. Then also, it's coming to console, so there's going to be console. And so they're doing the same route that Car X took because yeah. what Car X is they, Russian. Actually, they went to five, they went to five oh the same studio. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, uh-huh. Five oh five games or whatever. So they use the yeah. same studio that Assetto used, which. Everybody on the thing on the early oh, release okay. is like saying this is trash. But like when you start it up, it says right there, this is not the final game. And everybody just clicked right. OK and shit. They didn't read it. I'm like, dude, this is a beta. It's not. Oh, well, you know how everybody yeah. is. They ain't reading shit. Yeah. <laughs> they so, like, man, what the hell? I took a picture of it. Up. I took a picture of it. Like this is beta, man. It's not. It's not. Yeah. It's not the actual deal, man. So like everybody's like they just they just turn it on. They one lap like nah, man. They on that keyboard. This ain't it. Pounding yeah, it. They like, bang it out. Like bro, just relax, man. Let them develop. You know what I'm saying? Make mm-hmm. your own shit if you can. You know. What yeah. I mean? So yeah, man. It was funny because uh, so so Car X was, you know, it's a trip. So I'm like, okay, so it's Russian derived. So I see, you know, their influences because um, I watch a lot of Russian drifting and RDS anyway. So. Um, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, damn, they did this pretty good. Damn, they did this really good. So, you know, you get to the bottom of, of a toge, and here we go. Uh, D1 Odaiba course is at the bottom of that. Um, you go through uh, a couple of other uh, tracks, and you've got other layouts, hidden layouts, like little Easter eggs. So I, I think that kind of stuff is pretty cool because it's like, oh, not only was this track pretty stellar, but once I got to the end of it, if you were keen on recognizing it, you recognize, oh, hey, ain't this whatever, what you call it, layout, you know, and then you end up running it and it's like, yeah, yep, this is. And and as you could pull up competitions from the cross keys, um, the layouts, they have that laid out exactly like D1 with the with the clipping points and everything. So, yeah, it's um I think that's pretty cool that these individual European game makers are making their own game. Yeah. It's it's no longer just whatever titans are putting stuff out. Yeah. You can actually just go forth, put in your own effort, put in the time, but put in the effort enough to make it good. So, right. um I'm cool with that if you've got to build the car and then get it to the point where you really like it. Because in all honesty, I really cannot wait until driving games get to the point where you're driving one car that you have to build. And if you wreck it, it's tore up. You can't just drive it again. You have to go fix it. You have to build it, like tear it apart, straighten the frames, things like that. Because I, I don't mind driving one car and one car only on a lot of these games, mm-hmm. you know, and having that as your only car, your main car, or, or you treat it a different way. You're not going to get regular uh, Joe Dirt that's going to spear you across the grass because he don't care. He's going to quit or exit the room anyway. Yeah. And, you know, and no car damage is going to happen. Yeah. So for car, well, car X is who's a, uh... Where's it? Where, who's uh like I guess what country uh, produced it? Russian. Yeah. So that, RDS. That, yeah. Of RDS dudes. So that's crazy. Like so, you mentioned you were Russian for that. You got Poland for the Drift Twenty One, mm-hmm. which is once they get the which con the, the the full thing you know because they changed studio. So like what happened again? They they had their own thing and then they got with another like I guess a, a pro. Uh, a, yeah. big, a bigger company, and, and, and of course, you know the studio is going to kind of like, hey, change that, change this, yeah. and they, they kind of had to fold because it's like if they use the the fire of these guys, the backing, then they they're going to get a, a higher result. Then you got a Seto Corsa, which was developed in Italy or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So it's I was like gonna you, say you notice the trend there. You so. notice the trend mm-hmm. there is like the mm-hmm. top games are now be coming out of, of Europe, and it's yeah. like you know, I, and, I, and essentially independent studios. Yeah. 
Now, I do you know? Mm-hmm. Of course, we got respect and pay homage to to uh, to Grant Turismo, sure. but like you know, Grant, the Kazunori man, he kind of has this. Japanese is stubborn. They got their style and how they're gonna do yeah. things. It's just like he's gonna no matter what people say, man, he's gonna build what he's wanna what he wants to build. Because the thing about it, he's set <laughs> yeah. for he's set for life. He's good. I'm Period. pretty pretty sure he's good on money. So it ain't like he's like oh yeah. So it's his personal drive that's gonna push things, and he just want things how he wants it. So they're not gonna. You know, all they see the they see the stuff now. They they you know it's different now with, for developers because they can just go in there at nighttime. And I know they do it. They won't say it to us. I know they go online and be like, "God damn, man, he harsh right there, man." He just clicking through that, you know, reading the comments, which is the worst thing to yeah. do. Yeah, and you know, people are so catty and terrible in yeah. the comments, man. You be in the bitch, and they're probably that. saying the <laughs> worst, but they're the biggest fans of yeah. Gran Turismo or Forza or Project Cars. Huge fans, probably got posters on their wall. Yeah. But when they go and bang those keyboards, they're like, "You are the worst thing that ever happened." Yeah. To sim racing, <laughs> and then it's like, "Damn, am I?" You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you, ever, so I, I, you, huh? foresee, you ever foresee a uh, PC version of Gran Turismo? Yeah. You think so? I actually do. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because it's it's going to have to happen. Yeah. Um, this is a different market. I mean, that's a whole different million million sales plus. Because, yeah, it's going to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So not only is it the most successful driving game title... Right. If they crack open the market and go PC, they're going to gather those people that refuse to get off of PC and get to console that didn't find that need. And then it's also going to crack open the freedom of um, modifications like when we were really heavy on modifying Gran Turismo and making our own fitments and lowers and engine swaps and everything like that. How much fun we were having for that short period of time until they dropped a ban hammer on everybody. That's what's going to be on the PC world. Yeah. But it's going to come at a premium cost because he's going to say, oh, they're going to screw with my game. Oh, yeah. Guaranteed. But they're going to pay $175 and then whatever else for every add-on for this game. And then y'all got to have at it. Yeah. But I, I feel like that's what's going to eventually happen um, if he's all about the money. Because um, all of the stuff that we want from the game – Mm-hmm. We want it to be able to customize specifically this. We want the visuals. Like, so they've already given us the visuals and the physics and things. That's something you can't take from us because we've got it now. Mm-hmm. We're going to complain if it goes away, right? It, you took away our our modifications and things of certain to a certain point, and we want that back too. But how much data is eventually going to be stuffed on this disc? To the point where it's going to be like, well, here's a three driver set. You go ahead and upload that onto your computer and have a blast, you know. But mm. it comes with all of the shit that you've ever wanted, but it comes at like two hundred dollar costs, you know. Well, they, well, then for that, nobody, you know, nobody, they don't use this. You know, that shit's a straight download. Yeah, yeah, it's just a download. It, this is download now, now. Yeah. so like that, and you know, they they could, um, but then I don't think they can because if they locked it, they lock it down so so much, it won't be able to access data. But like you know. They'll say in the thing like you know you can't, you can. They can't stop people from modifying. Yeah. Uh, because I mean it's in the actual game. I mean you buy as long as you buy the lo- long as you buy the licensed game and your licensed game mm-hmm. is like triggered and stuff like that. As long as it's not stolen, you're good to go. Um, then the uh, the uh, they'll definitely. I can see them having some strong encryption, man, where you can't touch the existing cars or something like that. So they mm-hmm. they can they can definitely do that and make that like a read only file or whatever. But dudes will find a way if it's on that if it's on that PC, yeah. dudes will find a way to do it and get around it. So then it, I, I I'm I'm hoping they would do it because it's a different market. But I can see them I can see it not happening until honestly, you know, dude Casanori like passes someone or something like that, and like maybe somebody else mm-hmm. takes over and you know kind of the situation with Steve Jaw passing and then they uh, yeah. somebody somebody in the back of the office wants to do it. And they just waiting for their turn to get up there. Yeah, and they're gonna be like, yeah. finally, yeah. Now let me do this. <laughs> yeah, and then the whole game opens <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so I can see that. I can see it because I mean, it's it's like you said, man. It's definitely you got to have. I don't have an Xbox, so I mean, it's like I, I don't I don't have one. I, I just don't have any, and it, I got the PlayStation's yeah. and I got the PC. 
So I mean, I might, I might set up another rig, another rig in the shop, which I'm running out of space. I got three now in the damn shop, and put an yeah, Xbox yeah. there or something like that, just in case. Like I said, if you're on jamming on something that's cool and new, I can get on yeah. there too, because that way it's like, I mm-hmm. mean, the cross platforming is um. Uh, one thing I didn't notice about yeah, was yeah, it card yeah. effects. No, it was a card. Yep, yep, yep. Card yeah. drift has cross platform. But you noticed that it, it was. It seemed like a fucking jungle, man. Like it, it seemed like you know you had the PC guys, you had the yeah. you had the uh, the, uh, the Xbox guys, and it just seems like motherfuckers are just doing all types of shit. Like, yeah. well, yeah, they for sure get a different experience in gameplay because PC has different modification options right. than uh, console does. Right. So you be driving with dudes, and they're faster than us. Dog, yeah. I mean, they're incredibly fast. You yeah. have to turn up everything adhesion, suspension, power, lighten the car up. You got to do everything to hang with them. And then they get a- other visual options, like they get tire lettering and and other things like that. That's how you know they're on a high tire because they've got um, tire stickers and shit on their tires. Right. And and it's but it's cool because you kind of get an opportunity to expand your play market. So I could have all the guys on my friends list. I could have random online rooms, but it's just something about when you're looking for that online room and you see PC and PS cross platform, you're like, well, let me go in here and, and maybe find a group of dudes. Like there's this group of dudes that I drive with on, on Xbox on um, Forza. And I only want to drive with them because they're hella good. Right. Mm. But they're always on PC and stuff as well. So their driving level is like way up here. Then I go dick around and suck with them on on Xbox. Uh, But imagine if I was on my comfortable platform and they're on their choice platform um, being on PC and they're absolutely jamming and I'm absolutely jamming. But we're in one world together, you know. That's yeah. that's where I see like the benefit of that because um, it won't just be those dudes that are like, "Yo, jump on a seto over here." Uh, we're over here on the seto, and then with like Discord, yeah, I could just jump in, put on a chat, and I'm talking to everybody, even though they're on different consoles. Mm. Since we can't communicate on, you know, here on the on the console to PC. That eliminates that with Discord. Right. I just throw on my headset on Discord and I'm chopping it up with everybody, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's cool, man. It's definitely, it's definitely, it is, it's, man, while you're saying all that, man, it definitely, I was in my mind thinking about when uh, GT was a GT Planet back in the day when yeah. I think it was Gran Turismo 3 was the first one that had the X Link or something like that. Mm-hmm. And like, that was like, I didn't, even, that was like, you a could that, do land party. Yeah, yeah. And that was like, at that time, I didn't, I wasn't, and I was like, I wasn't really looking at online gaming and stuff like that. And I think you had to have yeah. what a um, you had to have like an attachment for your PS2. Yeah, like the the, the uh, you, you put the yeah you put that little external brick on the back. The, the like a modem basically. Yeah, yeah plug then, that in. Did you ever use it? Line. Did you yep. ever use it? We use it for SOCOM. So how, how did it? How we does it was work? blasted on yeah. SOCOM. How, did, how does it? Tight. How do you set it? Like what? It, like what's the process of like the? How did you use it? So you you plug that in, mm-hmm. then you plugged in your your RJ forty five, whatever the hell that was, I forget what the right. hell it was called. But you plugged in your your data line, and then you hit online, and SOCOM would would do the rest, or mm-hmm. you know whatever capable game would do the rest, and then it would link up, and it was just like very specific parties groups, mm-hmm. and you went into that, and you literally had to hit it all at the same time with your boys oh, for everybody to sync. sync up. Okay. So, yeah, all your boys, everybody would be on the phone, and we'd be like, all right, all right, everybody ready? Boom. And then everybody hit, and whatever that room amount was, hopefully y'all could flow fill in on it. And mm. so it was just very, very rudimentary. Um, and it was cool because that was like the beginning of online gaming. And then you could be like super competitive with your friends from your room, everything like that. So when Gran Turismo first started doing like the land party thing, it wasn't quite online, but mm. it was online enough. It was pretty cool because we would be sitting in my living room 
And like, man, God bless my brother, right? Mm. He's the one that got me into all of this game and shit. So this is his fault. So we would sit in the room downstairs. I'd bring my TV from my room. My brother bring his TV from his room. My other homeboys would bring a TV over. And so we'd all have our PlayStations lined up. And on our big TV downstairs, it was on broadcast mode. Mm. So you'd watch the race on the big TV. And all of us had our own TVs driving from you know right there and so man it used to be like oh we ain't quite online but we got our own screen full full screen yeah. no split screen yeah, that, that's... <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. like we're yeah. jamming yeah. my tune is better than your tune somebody might you know we had our memory card and our own cars and we're choosing it. it was just like that was the beginning of like all right, this is tight, and this could be like really competitive because you know it's now I no no excuse I can't see all the way up the track because I got this compressed, thin, long ass screen of split screen mm. trash, and you know or, or or somebody's looking at your screen, screen watching your portion of the screen instead of paying attention and running into you, running you off the road or whatever. And it was uh that that was that was pretty tight, man. Is that you? You just said like I. It's been years since I've seen a split screen. Like yeah, you don't even think about you don't even the think fact about that it. Anymore. Gran Turismo does currently still have split screen. Yeah, because he's like you don't because like I got dudes like the one guy's like oh, how do we want to do it? Like I got. In my in my downstairs is two big ass two different ones sixty yeah. inch TVs and it's like mm -hmm. how do you want to like do this online it's like now what we're doing now man we take it so for granted where you can have a so you can have you can have a whole you can have sixteen playstations and TVs mm -hmm. in your basement and everybody's on their own rig I mean that'd be yeah that'd be expensive and everybody's in their own rig and uh, yeah. and they got like they're all in the same group you limited the 16 group go to this room you can only join if you got the link or whatever yeah so it's like mm -hmm. now man it's um it's crazy man so when people come over they're like man this is high tech i'm like nah it's a land cable and the playstation yeah and that's it yeah and this is low tech <laughs> low tech yeah. man it's crazy mm -hmm. and, and and like you know with the with, like again with all the stuff going on with all the you know the the the, the pandemic stuff and the stuff going off is definitely a good thing to see everything kind of come come together and it takes something like this to get people to sign on because I'm seeing guys now that it's kind of, again it's kind of like I don't even I'll, I'll click like on it but it's like mm -hmm. I don't even go in there because if I go in there I'm like dude you, you were just saying like a year ago when I posted my setup how lame it was you know what yep. I'm saying now they, now yeah that part yeah. Now, now you got like now you just you just fall deep in it. You got like you start now. Dudes are like, I see my one actually my one guy. He he wasn't like that. My guy David. He went from like not knowing nothing to now this dude took an old old computer. Now he got the whole goddamn. He got his own like tachometer and like he just going yeah. crazy. So he went from one system. Now he got the three screens and this is all inside of a month. Like, and it's like you were calling us geeks and nerds yeah. a minute ago. Yeah, we man. were geeks and we were nerds. Yeah, but now, now you the you the Lord Master of Sim Rigs. You yeah. know, like you were. I couldn't have dragged you through a shallow puddle to a sim rig. Yeah, you would have fought me tooth and nail. But now you've got a crazy sim rig and you telling me how good it yeah, is. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Yeah, that's the funny <laughs> thing. I, I don't even I don't even get into it, man, because the dude's like, pull, then I, I kind of set myself up for failure because, like, I'll go into a group of guys who are, like, talking about getting it. And I'm like, dude, yeah. you just need this. You don't need a guy. You don't got to build a goddamn this. You ain't got to do this. You ain't got to do. You don't need a. You don't need a whole 240 SX shell in your in your basement. Yeah, like, dude, just you to don't. get. So like you're that. So you know what it's doing, and it's weird, man. What that what that what that does to me, man. It's like the same the same ideology where dudes feel like they need a turbocharged LS1 to yes. to learn a drifting. And doing that, right with a hydro. Yeah, so they're doing that same stuff with the on sim rig. Sim rig, like they like you know some guys got to. The, like the dude Jelani, he's cool. He, he's a pipe bender, so he made his own. He, he made his own rig. Mm -hmm. That's cool. He's just like you know using his materials. Not talking about Jelani, but it's some other dudes that are like they are just like oh, I'm waiting on a dash to come in. I wait like dude, just plug that fucking wheel like, up. Plug it and play. Boy. Yeah, <laughs> just plug that wheel up because by the time you get all that shit in, you still it's just gonna be like the real life. You're gonna be behind a power curve. You're gonna get yep. all that shit on your car and you can't. You're gonna crash to the wall. You're going to be spinning for 45 yeah. minutes straight yeah, man. until you finally understand it. Yeah, I mean, and, and that's just how it is. Like, I tell cats, oh, uh, yeah, no, just get this, get the steering wheel, get a TV that you like looking at, yeah. and have at it. You know, you don't, I don't, yeah. you don't need all the extra. Cats be like, oh, I got this, and oh, this, and nah, that's fine. 
I've been doing this for ages, so it's not new to me. I just I just need it to work and right. for me to be able to see it properly. And yeah. I'm having a blast. You could be sitting in a cockpit with all the handbrakes and inverted pedals. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And butt shakers and uh, <laughs> and all, all of the shit. That's good for you. Basics, that's great man. for IG. When you post it up on IG, that's, that's fine. But for me... I got a little girl running around in here. When I'm out on the other sim rig, she's jumping on it, hollering, vroom, vroom, yanking on everything. It needs to be durable and it needs to be simple because I'll be damned. When I first started doing sim sim racing when my son was a baby, <clears throat> I had this whole setup and everything cool. I came home one day. I couldn't change gears. I couldn't do this or that. He didn't spill juice all through my steering wheel oh. and all my shit, you know. So this is like. All right, so I, I need a durable setup that <laughs> works and that's easy to, you know, to, to maneuver around because, you know, my little girl is going to be jumping on everything. Yeah. I'll be damn falls onto some pedals, some metal pedals and blow her head out and, yeah. you know, do all kind of extra stuff, you know. Because yeah. everybody's getting all like they get like they're because I mean, for me, I got I got I got a combination of 25, 27s and I got a, a, a T500. And it's like now dudes are like the same thing, man. They're like, they're like, oh, you, you got to get. This thing they they talking about getting like the the five thousand dollar string racks and then they getting all I'm like dude yeah you don't like but you know what that does though which is cool is eventually because now the world is on it mm -hmm. that might get the prices down like one or two hundred bucks yeah you know we might end up getting all the stuff that's been staying high premium um you know now they're getting flown off the shelves because I mean too you wake up on the weekends. NASCAR is on iRacing mm -hmm. and it's being shown on NBC. Yeah. You know, um, I wake up on, on the weekends. Dog, the funniest thing, which you cannot simulate, there's no simulation of this, is motorcycle racing. <laughs> yeah. MotoGP does MotoGP Live every Saturday, and these MotoGP riders are sitting here trying to figure it out, but they are on the sticks using MotoGP 20, and um, dude, the most spectacular motorcycle crashes, but this is real MotoGP. Yeah. This is the actual, like, is it as if it was normal. This is the real MotoGP. Seeing them, the young dudes are killing, like, the OG good riders because the younger dudes are used to playing video games. Mm. So they literally practice, they qualify, they got the announcers in the center box, and they go to each driver's screen and do all the stuff. It's so dope, but it's no way to really simulate yeah, that. There's can. really no yeah. bike simulation, you know? Yeah, it is. So, so it's it's tight. I mean, it's going to get product to us. It's going to get hardware to us even quicker and at a better price because they're trying to float it out to everybody now to 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 serve a, a driving market that just kind of popped out of nowhere, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's weird, man. Like I said, it's it's definitely it's going to be um I think it's going to be a normal thing. So it's going to be some people going to get used oh, yeah. to, but it, it, like you said, man, kind of bringing it back was the the guys will be in there to see you can use this on the off season to stay uh, polished yeah, hell yeah. and uh, do different things, man. Because if you, if you, if you just like kind of, again, like this, again, like we said before, man, the strip, strip, the strip, your mis your preconceptions about what it should be. Mm -hmm. And then you'll be, you'll be good to go, man. So I see it going that way in, in, in the future, but man, it's, it's like for me, actually, when we get done with this, I was going to be doing a bunch of stuff, but I'm, I'm going to go to the track. I'm just going to load up with car, help the track yeah. a few laps and everything. Cause our track is still open. That's not, so not, cool. Nothing's changed and everything, but I've been yeah, so. Yeah, but you guys have always had like been able to go to a track, and even if you're the only one there, you could drive. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, well, like my MSP is just like it's seven days a week. Show up and drive. Yeah. I mean, it's like uh, not here. Yeah, They'll they be got like nah. We need forty people. No, no, no. It's it's, it's <laughs> a, so like there there are tracks like that, like uh, Sakuba, for example. You can't just rock up. You, Sakuba, mm -hmm. Sakuba, Fuji, Suzuka, all the all the. Club racing. Oh, yeah, you, you, they they, of, they yeah. make their money on. Uh, they do large groups. So like the when you do the uh, event, so you'll do what? You'll get three. So for Scuba, you get three fifteen minute sessions. It's like two hundred eighty dollars. And um, yeah. And then uh, that so like they got it. So the group that uh, like the one group is called With Me. So if you you eventually come over here to Japan, pretty much like we'll definitely you set all that stuff up. 
you go through a group, you register. So like each one of those entrants is like two. So you make, you got to make the money back. You're going to make the money back. Uh, so you're going to have the minimum. So say the minimum is like 50, you know how that works. So yep, you got to yep, get, yep. so for guys that they don't know, when you do the, the minimum, that, that minimum entrance, when they put that down there, they need at least 40 drivers to make the event happen because if they don't, they're not, they're not going to put it on. So you don't get 40, if you get 40 drivers, okay, but you want 60, 65, 70 drivers because anything over 40, you're making money. So there's no secret there, guys. That's how all these guys up there make events. And that's why yeah. the events get canceled if it's not 35 drivers. So you got to support to get, you know, get the event going. So you got to share it up and do all that stuff. So now yeah. it's not a thing. So I don't think that's going to be an issue for anybody for a while after this blows over, at least until everybody gets back into the same groove of like fucking off. Because now everybody wants to get back out there because they're restricted. That's the biggest reason now why people want to get out there and drive and do all that stuff. So I can foresee, man, dudes out there still ain't going to have that shit ready. Because I still, because I, because I, hey, hey, because I'm one of them. I'm one of them. I still ain't. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. I got, I got. I'm about to. So what I do, I shift my focus from building pro cars. I got an S14 about to put some basic stuff on like i'm just it ain't no point man unless you got a, a, yeah. a turnkey rig it's like man just enjoy the rest of the season for what it is don't try to yeah. it's just it, it's already screwed up man so even if you win a championship this year it's gonna be an asterisk next to it so yeah 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 yeah, yeah. you know what I, I mean yeah it's gonna be a rear it's gonna be a weird one yeah whoever's prepared whoever's yeah. ready to rock yeah so they're gonna come through and do it and then somebody's gonna say Oh no! Nah, well, you know, I I, I wasn't yeah, able to test the, my the, car. Yeah, the excuses. I'm like, what? I, I wasn't able to get parts from my sponsor, and uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. No, you, <laughs> you can know, trust him. You, 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 the same time frame. Yeah. It just in March, everything started to yeah. get screwed up. So yeah. shit already had your shit together. Yeah, it just it comes down again to uh, the unfortunately, man, the way the world works is who you know because it ain't that they don't have the parts; is that they they're some people I've seen have kind of took some stuff off the market to kind of keep it for like their, their people who are really boosting their stuff up. So they, they got that right. GT 3582R, but they just going to save it for uh Denofa versus selling to Ricky mm-hmm. in, in Massachusetts. So, you know, it, it sucks yeah, that it's like that, yeah. but they want to keep at least 10 on the shelf for guys who are going to put that turbo in there and make them more money. That's business out there guys. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. if you know people, it's you, not personal, right? Yeah. It's not personal. It's just, is this, you know, Lewis Hamilton is going to get what he's going to get over you. Lewis is for sure. Yeah. Get what he's gonna get. Yeah. So it's, <laughs> it's just, it's the way it works with that guy. So, you know, but sometimes some stuff is hard broke. So some stuff up there, like, you know, one thing I, I, I told my Japanese cats here and they refuse to still believe it. Like they don't believe how much stuff comes from China, man. And the, all these guys that want to bump up origin this and this, that, and other. And I'm, I don't care who co- tools I step on. Like, dude, that shit ain't made in Japan, man. It ain't made, Bro, it ain't so made in Japan. It's never been more apparent than with this motorcycle stuff. Because I've been on a motorcycle kick lately. And I am trying my hardest to find OE equipment. Mm. It's no. Yeah. It's not happening. The yeah. only way you get it is go to the dealership and pay an astronomical price for it. Right. But to get anything online, anytime you look at anything, made in China, shipping from China. Yeah. There's nothing that you're you're like searching through 13 pages before you see oh there goes some rear sets from yeah. Sato Racing and then you click on it actual rear yeah. set <laughs> not the chinese copy of yeah. it you know and it's like it's almost like nerve-wracking that's why i'm like taking so much pride in all of the the oe bikes that i'm trying to restore everything is oe on them mm-hmm. but it's taking forever to find them and then I can't find two parts together. Like if I'm looking for the handlebars, oh, here's a right one. That one's seventy five dollars. Oh, here's the left one. It's got a little rash on it, but I can cover it with the you know controls and the grips. Yeah. And that's thirty seven dollars. So now I got a matching set, you know. And it's mm-hmm. just been like piecing together stuff like that. And and absolutely everything is coming from China. Yeah. Stators, rectifiers, clutch packs. I mean, it's just like, dude. I almost get to the point where I look, I just scroll. And when I don't see China, I'll be like, oh, let me see. You know, and then shipping will be a million dollars. Yeah. It's like, yeah. all right. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's, at least that's going coming up. from China. Yeah. And it's not, I'm not to say like, um, like the 
that is it, bad. It's anyway. not bad. It's just because that's the thing too, yeah. man. Because I deal, I deal a lot. You, honestly, the manufacturer there, so you got to deal with certain people. Um, when I get, I, what I get before I dive in is samples first. Like I don't know if you see my, I put up my mm. my first part was those hoses. So he was like, I, I found I found this company and that was the first one I went with because the other ones. They were like, yeah, the samples is when you get all 100 of them. I'm like, nah, dude, there ain't no fucking sample. Like, that's 100. Yeah. That's 100 or something with a fucking defect that ain't, that's not the right yeah, color. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Let me get five to ten of these things yeah. and see what it happens. So I, I got the dude, like, he was like, yeah, sure, you pay your... It's like, so making parts... I mean, the internet is exposing everything where everything seemed like it was impossible before. It's yeah. now you can, you can go on Google and look it up. So it's like... Now in these time and days, man, is being ignorant is a choice, man. Being it really is, it, man. It, it, it's a you choice. You have the most powerful <laughs> thing in your hand to yeah. help you all day. But you be on Pornhub and shit with scrolling. It. I was just about to say, yeah. you're just scrolling through porn yeah. and 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 members only and and for the for the fans and yeah. and and Instagram. Yeah, where it's you're literally looking at somebody else's life instead of trying to improve yours. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, like so my son will come to me and be like, "Oh, what's this mean?" There's no reason you should be asking me. I mean, I like that you're yeah. asking me what it means, but <clears throat> did you? Did you result to your 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 supercomputer yet? Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, I can help you put it in context after you see what it means. But it's like, yeah, there's there's ways to to find anything you want. Like, dude, I was just sitting and I was uh, this guy, some he's calling me out to race him on bikes. I'm like, what? I just do bikes for fun. But all right, if you feel a certain way about it so he has this certain bike and i'm like well let me look up the specs on this bike real quick because i don't really care because i'm a jam regardless mm-hmm. but let me just know what it does oh it's a v-twin it's only this it's that it's got a lot of torque only revs here well let me look up some videos and see how guys are using the bike see what it does uh, okay cool i know what to expect you know you can find out any kind of information wheel size what tires what final drive it has what's the rate of top speeds you know it's just anything and everything you want to find too quick like that man and it's uh it, it's it's tight because i've learned in these in these last four months i've been using social media um properly at this point in time now mm. I, I feel like social media this is where what it was made for. And before Corona, BC, where it was an outside <laughs> world, you want to be outside experience, experiencing stuff more. But after Corona, we're this is what we're relying on. This is what we're tuning into more. Um, I used to when I used to ride motorcycles prior to this, um, it was really analog. Mm. We go mob out, meet up with everybody. We didn't have navigation sitting on our triple trees. You know, the BMW was a huge thing. When it came out with the navigation on the dash, it was built into the dash. Everything would move over like the Audi R8s, and you had all of the shit right there. But I don't need that. I got my phone sitting right here on my triple trees. Navigation, everything right there. But Mm. the coolest thing about it from what we used to do till now, especially with the iPhones, all your friends that are going riding with you, share location. Now I don't have to wait for you nowhere. You can actively track me and get on your bike and try to run me down mm. and, and meet up instead of us going, sitting around, waiting. And, oh, man, where's so-and-so at? Let me try and call him. Oh, he ain't answering. He's still yeah. riding. No, nah, I could be like, oh, he's about 10 minutes away. Actually, let's start to move because he can just – he don't have to get off the freeway and yeah. then come – he could just stay on the freeway and just roll with us. And, and I think as far as, like, social media with that, that's cool because now if – we're out and about. Somebody don't have to be like, "Oh, is it going down? Is are you guys having fun?" No, no, no. Here's a video. Here's a photo shared. Now you can see. Oh, it's oh man, they're, they're about six, seven deep in the twisties right now. You know, mm. there's other people down there that they're having fun with. Let me let me go. Let me see where they're at. Location. Boom. Uh, track the location. Navigate right now. Boom. And it's like using technology in this time frame and this time period has actually been really cool. I've I've found a new found enjoyment. Um, going on it and um, not feeling like ah, their part of the world is way more cracking right now or anything like that. It's like oh, that looks tight. That looks like really fun. I, I can't go do that right now. Right. Um, you know, but that's sick. That's a, you know, that's a good time. Well, let me go do something and, and share it with people and tell people we outside and uh, 
as we're outside, we're having a, a blast, kind of being reckless, but I mean, shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's it's um it's definitely it, this is showing like a lot of people like far as like guys who you know it's like I'm pretty sure you got buddies in real life who like be like ah I'm not like it's weird now when people say like they're not on like um not because they're not being sheep because I don't believe we're none of sheep it's just a tool and mm-hmm. like they say we like I mean you know we met we met by via Facebook you know what I mean and yep. many other guys met by Facebook like you see the car that dude's dope follow friends and you guys talk and then we got a we got a a, a, a a goddamn connection and we ain't never we ain't never shook hands physically been you know in saying? the same spot right yeah yeah like like gary he <coughs> drove up uh or <clears throat> one of the twins from florida he drove up mm. and it's and that's all i mentioned that to him i said hey yo don't you find this cool because it's no awkward acquaintance yeah it's not it's like we you just, just homies just, what up dog? yeah yeah, and that, yeah, that's cool. We're chilling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that, that shit's out the way. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's yeah. straight to chilling, <laughs> and I'm and I, I'm good with you chilling. It you might have showed up at my house at like nine thirty. Yeah, but what's up though? You know, yeah, and I yeah, chill yeah, with yeah. you until three because I'm very familiar with you. Yeah. I've literally seen your life for five, six years yeah. before now. Yeah, and. Yeah, I know who you hang out with, who you've been around, and I've seen what you've been doing all day. You've been driving up the coast sightseeing. Yeah. So now you're here, you t- take a load off, kick it, you know, have a beer and, and you know, safe place to rest for a while until you get back on the road. And, and I think that's the cool part about what we've got now with social media. If you're really being, and instead of like prying in on people's shit, like, oh yeah, my God, what yeah. are they doing? Yeah. And talking shit. Yeah, like, it, you're it, really it, like, oh, look what my homie doing. Yeah. Case in point, right? You just, you just nailed it, man. That's the, that's the divide. I mean, it's, there's like, you can break it down into a bunch of subcategories, but it's pretty much those who want to connect. And, and yeah. move forward, and then those who just like looking back, eating that bowl of soggy ass cornflakes, like fucking hate. Yeah, you know and, you, and you and you and you know, and it, it really sucks, man. Is you know for sure there's people on your that I mean, because we we add people for different reasons. They got a car, you got a cool car, cool ad, and then like unless they say something stupid, they stay on. They tend to stay on there because as soon as they Forever, say something, yeah. as soon as they post something dumb, it's just like unfriend. It's, it's not. I don't <laughs> got it. I don't even make a post about it. But it's like no. Nope. Hey, get out of here. Unfriend, yeah. hide, unfollow. Yeah, exactly. Because I know like, shit. I know I've been unfriended by people because I look on their. I just happen to see their name. Like, I, I know we were friends. And, and you'd be like, we was friends. Yeah, so maybe I, I posted something or, you know, said something <laughs> too spicy or whatever. And they were like, nah, man. Yeah, but, something like, but it, I get it. It, it is. You know, whatever. Yeah, it, yep, yep. So, the, but don't. But like you said at one time. If you if you remove me or whatever, it's like you go for yeah, yeah. Don't it's funny when you see that like Tony man. We were I thought we was like so we was fly yeah. So so you deleted me now. You want to come back? Nah, son. Just go ahead and stay. Just stay. You stay right over there. Yeah. 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 So stay I got <laughs> right over there. I got what's, what's really weird. And then we find out in times like this, in times of death, right? Yeah. So, like, my brother passed yeah, yeah, yeah. a couple of weeks ago. Man, I got so many motherfuckers with friends request. Nope, you stay your ass away. I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to yeah. see nothing. Like, stay off of my social media. Yeah. Because I don't want to hear it, and I don't want to be reminded of it. At right. least for not, not for right now. Right, right, so right. So, right. it might be fresh and new to you. You got to tell me how you feel about Nah. You yeah, ain't yeah, been yeah. around. Don't add me to come with this drama. Fucking oh my god! I can't believe. It. Shut your ass up. Yeah, man. People, <laughs> people be like that, man. Like this is it's it's just weird. You know, it it's it exposes. Um, for me, man, I I'm pretty sure you're the same way, man. And everybody, and it's the reason why I vibe with you. It's the reason why I had you back on the podcast and whatever. And we definitely gonna link up in in reality, mm-hmm. man. But it's like I people who I I can tell who before I meet them. Who's going to be the same when we when we actually meet face to face, versus like a weird people? Because I know I met people who like because I'm like the way I am online, very like straight up. Mm-hmm. And then I met this mm-hmm. one guy in particular. I met this one guy. He seemed like he was cool like that, but in person he was just awkward. He's putting on. Yeah, he was just yeah, awkward. Like he was like online. a awkward. So when I met him and I, I he said something to me and I'm like, why would you say that? You know what I mean? And I, I kind of like, yeah. I didn't say, why would you say that? But I, my response is like, what? That was fucking dumb. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. and then he kind of like, he was like, ah, oh, then he kind of didn't really talk to me the rest of the day. <laughs> and it is like, it was weird because I'm like, bro, like I, I am who I am online 
in person. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to say mm-hmm. anything mm-hmm. to you that I wouldn't say to you to your face. And I, I'm, I'm going to, I'm the same person that people yeah. like that, man. I, if I meet somebody like that, is that's a turn off, man. Like, nah, man, you, you're phony. Mm-hmm. You're phony. Or do you know what's been <laughs> cool or, or funny? I, I, was, I should say, <laughs> since I've happened to meet a lot of vloggers. Yeah. Um, some dudes you can you can see that they're mentally going. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, fam. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a whole different. Oh, what's up, buddy? Hey, guys, what's going on? Like you just switched. You know. Yeah. That's what's, that's what's really funny about like my homeboy Mike. Like he's really like that. He portrays yeah. it the same way, and then it's like that on on video. So like the real portrayal of the person, it kind of gets people like the genuine understanding of who you are. And yeah. then when they see you and you're just like that, it's an excitement because it's like, oh, this is why yeah. I fucked with him, and I fuck with him for real, for real. Yeah. Because when I met him, now he's like, oh, what's up, love? Yeah. And. Yeah, that's cool. But when you meet the dude that you maybe thought like mon- was monotone happy and, and shit and fun, yeah, and then he's like, oh, yeah. yeah, 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 hey, yeah, you doing? <laughs> Like, ah, you're me. <laughs> dude, that was funny and shit. You be like, he be like slapping himself in the face, like, yeah, man, and then just, just start going and shit. So like, yeah. but I will say, uh, cause I, I I do internalize shit, man, and like what you explain for me, if it's a group of guys who are like cool. Mm-hmm. I'm the same, like I'm. The, I got the same energy I'm talking right now. Like you know, I'm like you know, I'll smile and whatever. But mm-hmm. when I meet some, when I meet like when I meet the group of people, and they just kind of got like they wanted the energy. They put out their negative shit. I'm like, well, fuck, yeah. I ain't gonna get up. I'm not gonna like you know act like a clown <laughs> for you. So like I'll I'll I, that same energy right back, and then they'll see me talk to somebody else. I'm like, dude, like you just don't um. Like they, they people. One thing about the YouTube stuff, I mean, I only got five thousand subscribers, but people mm-hmm. watch a lot and they feel like they they know they know you off of that. Same thing yeah. will happen with you know celebrities where they call, they go up to like you know, uh, they like, hey Leo, hey Leo, like you don't know fucking who Leonardo DiCaprio. You don't is. know like, who DiCaprio is. You know what I'm saying? You just <laughs> go up to him and assume you watch some interview yeah. and he seemed like a cool guy, but like you don't know him. So if I meet somebody I know, like. I wouldn't. I wouldn't call a dude by his first name. Like I would. I would right. know his name, but I'm like, you know, nice to meet you because I. I just met you. I don't. You know. Yeah. You know. What I mean. I don't. So that's where it's a, it's good and bad, and people kind of get to know people and stuff like that. And I know some of the, the former D guys blog or whatever and vlog and stuff like that. But I knew some of these guys before they before you know they start winning championships and stuff. And now they right. You know, yeah. Some people change. You know, unfortunate. Unfortunately. Some guys change, but for the most part, I'm the same way. It's just the energy. Like, I mean, if I'm cool with a group of guys, I'll be that same way. But at the same time, man, I do, I do have my um, where I don't walk around like I, because what I've been through in life, you kind of like you, you watching people, you watching hands, you, you know, and mm-hmm. you know, you just like that. It's just, it's just different. Yeah, everything. I mean, because yeah. I've been through some real tough stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how drab of a motherfucker would I be? To yeah. put that tough stuff out yeah, all the time, front. Right? Yeah, you know what I mean. Like people are like, "Yo, you just lost your brother." Mm. Yeah, how long ago? Basically, a few days ago. Basically, right, right. Yo, I wouldn't assume you'd be. Well, the thing is, bro, if I put that off to you, and this is your first time meeting me, yeah, you're gonna, yeah. You're not going to go back and say, oh, he was having a tough day. I mean, I saw that he just lost his big brother. Um, they were super close. They were Ace Boone Coons. And he was being, you know, emotional or he was being off-putting because of that. No, they're going to be like, I just met because he was a dipshit. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And then that'll make you feel bad again as a person, not only because you're going through something, but because you're going through something and now people are saying – you're a shitty person when you're really not. Right. You're just trying to process hella shit, and then it's like, oh, while I'm processing, hey, what's up, bud? I'm I'm Lex. My bad. I wasn't I, I wasn't thinking yeah. right now. I was I was elsewhere. My bad. But so I just be like, yo, 
My brother was the turn up guy. He was the type of dude to go to an arcade just to play Initial D. We would travel like 30 miles. We could have went to another arcade, but we go to this one because it's popping the most. It's the most people and spend like $200 on the arcade machine. Mm. So he was all about having fun. So I'm going to have a blast. And anytime, anytime I meet anybody, it's just like, oh, what's up, man? Thanks for supporting me. If they're on that type of, right. if they're on the type of time, if they're coming to me because they're saying, "Oh, I seen your vlogs or I seen you on Instagram," if they're just like, "Oh, what's up, dude? What's up? How's everything? Like yeah, everything's yeah. great, grand, and groovy. What's up, bud? Uh, boom, 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 random conversation. Like I was at Burnyard, and I won't say the YouTuber's name, but he he popped up, um, and he was vlogging, and my boy was putting in work in the burnout comp. So I'm filming for him. So I'm around, so I'm in the mix. And then this YouTuber, he's in the mix because he has the access for media. Mm. And so he's vlogging or whatever, whatever. And as he's walking straight by me, he looks me in my face, but then he t turns his attention. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah. But now I'm cool with his homie, his his homie vlogs. Mm. And I'm cool with his homie. Um not saying that they've ever had a conversation about the black dude in California, but it's just the fact that I'm cool with his homie. I've met his homie. He don't know, but I know dude is cool, real down to earth person. So then you just looked me dead in my face. We made eye contact and I was just, about, you know, you know, you have like that pause in time. Yeah, where yeah. He's just about to give somebody the, what's, what's, what up though. Like yeah, I'm yeah, familiar yeah. with you. Right. I was just about to give him the what up though, but son curved me. I said, ooh, I'm glad I kept that what up yeah, though, right? <laughs> so I'm like, so yeah, because like, okay, it, cool. it turned into it turned into like you it almost Yeah, you, like you a weirdo. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm like, okay, I know what time it is, cool. So boom, boom, boom. I'm not paying him any attention now. My boy put in work, he's getting interview, he got like second or third place or something. It was but he was up there. So we're all kind of like hanging after the crowd's clear and everything. So we're all around. So now um, all of the people, some of the people, most of the people, some of the Hoonigan staff, everybody, they're all talking to me about something, about Sonoma Winter Jam coming up. And so then, now Blood sees that I'm a person of interest. Yeah. Oh, now he's lurking, standing behind the people that are talking to me. And I see him standing there, but I'm like, I'm petty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gave me this energy. I'm continuing that energy. Yeah. So I'm ignoring him. But yeah. everybody's asking, so now, now he's he hears, oh man, you should have brought your car, dude. Your car is insane. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, the way you drive is crazy. Blah, blah, blah. I was just watching a video you just did. Blah, blah, blah. You just had that vlog up. Blah, yeah, blah, blah. So man. now, dude's like, and so I'm like, life lesson right there. Time to go, yo. We out. Yeah. And I dip on blood. <laughs> I turn around. Life and, lesson, man. That's, that's, that's one of the things, man, where I told, with, again, with this podcast, again, this, this is, this is going to be episode like number 54 or something like that. So yeah, I mean, the last work. time we, the last, yeah, the last time we talked, it was like 30s or, yeah, 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 yeah. Real early in the game. Yeah. It was I actually, it, it, was, it was, it was 36, to, um, 36. Was it? Mm -hmm, I think so because I posted up to tell people, man, go, go, yeah. go, go, look it up, go yeah. get some. Well, actually, you know. not, the reason I know it was thirty six is I put that Wu Tang symbol in there, and I got, I got, I got a strike for that. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, man, dude. Oh, YouTube, you, YouTube so they, dude, they be on, they be having that dude in the basement that don't get no air and food and water. He just been there like, all right, strike. Like, dude, Yo, they be finding the you. smallest thing, man. To because to... YouTube is basically a record label now. Yeah. Yeah, so like anytime like, you do any merchandise yeah, man. of an artist or music, yeah. they be on That's why it. I like because I sent you know I, I do sample based music, so now I gotta yeah. choose my if it's a sample that I really really chopped up, then I can use it. But now, like I gotta be and even if I get a video from you or something like that, it, I can't um I, I gotta be like I have to really Bits. I gotta be I gotta mm -hmm. be really conscious. Like your your other one, like that uh that it didn't hit for that song. The, the like the song that was in the of video the beginning, uh -huh. yeah, yeah it didn't hit for that it was for the damn Wu Tang sign in the thumbnail that's insane yeah, yeah man so it's so like so you it, had to just change the thumbnail I didn't change it's, it's already it's, oh, yeah. it's, it, once you get the strike on it it's done so it's you got yeah, they, yeah what's one there is they they they're doing anything not to pay out man anything not to pay out so mm. now. You know, if you upload now, you go and do your own ads, right? You do your you do your own like, dude, like come on, um, dude. 
approvals. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was like, really? Like, who's who? Who's gonna click it to where it says limited? You're gonna say, nah, I'm good. And, I know. And then, <laughs> I did it the first couple times. Yeah, yeah I said nigga a couple yeah. times. I said this and that. <laughs> It's okay, it was the yeah. harsh language. <laughs> then after that, I was like, man, forget that. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah. Monetize my stuff. <laughs> yeah, dude. So it's like, so it's, it's weird, man. Like, I mean, you know, it's, it is what it is, man. But I, you, you got to be conscientious about it. But it's, I have seen, I, like I did the last joint with uh, Mito. And uh, mm-hmm. it, it's, you know, it, it's uh, kind of what I was getting into before. That video, man, it was like you know because he had his he had his following and everything. So yeah. and, and also what he did, and I I don't tell people to do it. Like I mean, you you did thanks for you know putting that up there for the uh, last mm-hmm. one. But like a lot of guys, like it's just like who you have on and stuff like that is going to determine like you know the the stuff. Like so the next guy I got coming up actually is uh, Mike from uh, King uh, uh, King of Nations, the King of Europe. Actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that, that that's a you know and the thing about it, the reason he's like yeah man I got time because. I ain't, ain't no competitions going on. So I'm taking advantage of that. People being home and getting up You're with right. guys and, and connecting with guys and everything. And not saying that they, they're they not busy, but just like some people are not as busy as they would normally be if they had a season going on right now. So just getting into that stuff and, and, and doing that, man, and, and, and just, again, trying to spread the positivity. But, what, but like kind of what I was getting to before because I kind of go up the beaten path. Like dudes up there, man, like, you know, I don't put an importance on it. Like when I talk to you now – I talk to everybody the same way, and I don't. Right. I don't. I don't believe. I don't. Of course, some people are just like keeping it real. Some people do. If I hit up, if I get Kanye on here, which probably never happened, Kanye mm-hmm. has millions of followers, so that video is going to get millions yeah. of views just because Kanye. So I don't like. I don't want my guests to feel like, oh, you ain't important. Because I had a Japanese guy like, oh man, I'm nobody. I'm like, nah, dude, you're you're you're, you're somebody. You're somebody. I mean, not to sound all mm-hmm. cliches, but you know me for like almost eight years and you've helped me do some translation to Japanese stuff like dude just you don't you don't gotta be Daigo to be on my podcast yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's what I'm yeah. trying to get out there because I see the I see the podcast out there they probably watching it probably watching the guys probably watching it's like dude like you they painted themselves into this corner where they gotta have hitters on hitters on hitters on they can't have a normal regular Joe yeah, and a regular homie yeah. conversation and that's what and Joe Rogan nobody knows and Joe Rogan who's a big and I keep fucking bringing him up because I watch him all the time the biggest podcaster out there and he had he'll have goddamn Tony Stark on and shit and then the next Duh, week, look what he did for Andrew Schultz yeah because Andrew Schultz was absolutely like so people that knew about Schultz yeah Andrew Schultz yeah. can stomach Schultz Schultz is great we right, thought right, Schultz is right. great he goes on Rogan. Now Schultz is probably, and I must say, one of the biggest comedians yeah. now because when he expressed what he was doing because he was getting blocked out of, of media and yeah. and everything else, and then he goes on Rogan and he tell him what he's been doing. Right. Oh, I'm not that popular, but this is what I've been doing. Now everybody that was watching Rogan's like, you go over yeah, there. It's, like it's, Dude, it's instant. It's like, dude, I got a hundred. I got, I got a hundred. Yeah. It's just, dude, it's like, you know, the thing, the thing about, and I told uh, Mitho this, man, I was like, yeah, man, thanks for being on the podcast. But like, I, and I was like, hey, man, I'm not using, I know you got a lot of followers because he's been yeah. in the game a long time, but that's what some of the YouTubers here. And again, I hope they watch this because I've already, I've already reached out to all these dudes. And I'm like, I'm not going to hit your inbox again. You already know you, it's sit there you red for the two vibe, years. Yeah. You know the vibe. So when I see him in person, it's like, oh yeah. I'm like, nah, save that shit. And I cut that, dude. I do. When people do, do with my business and and with this stuff I've done out, when I go to the track and I see guys, they'll be in the group, right? And they'd be like all startled because they they sent me an email for like uh, I want to get this work done, and then I said it's gonna be this much. Then they then never get come back. And then when I see them, oh man, I was gonna get them like, dude, you ain't had the money. Mm-hmm. As simple as that. Or you and went that's fine. and you went to another you shop, I mean? got your shit mm-hmm. fucked up. And then, mm-hmm. then you don't want to come back. So it's like I see people all the time, and it, because guys know, is the the word is out, man. I'm going to say exactly what the fuck I want to say, and it, it's not. Yeah. I'm not trying to be, but it's like for me, for me to not to remain stress free. I gotta know. I can't go to sleep knowing about. I, mean, I should have said this, man. I should have. Don't that eat you up? Yeah, it, and I, you know I've been there before. I've been there before, man. Dog, like you be go, you be you be <laughs> you be sleep, you be sleeping, and wake up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My wife be like, what you thinking about? Oh, nothing. Yeah. 
Nah, she yeah. told this boy hat where he could have stuffed his Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. You know? Yeah, so it's like, you no, know, and it's not, it's just, I need to make sure with my business and everything that everybody that deal with me, because I don't like misconceptions, because misconceptions, dudes will go around to the other groups and say, oh, man, he was yeah. like that. And I had a customer recently who I did, I did, uh, I had, I, I, it happened before, and I called the guy, I should have waited about 30 minutes. And it's not the first time yeah. I said it on the podcast. I called a guy right off another situation that I was already fired up on. Mm-hmm. So that first three minutes of the talking, I was like, I wasn't screaming, but I was talking at an elevated, yeah. fast pace. And then he was talking soothing, and like, luckily he didn't match it because if he matched it, I would have. If just, he had matched it, yeah. you would have went ultra alpha. I would have blew the fuck up. So. <laughs> He was calm, and then his calmness, like, kind of, like, because he was calm because he's like, oh, fuck, I fuck, because his email was, like, kind of a uh, sliding email, and I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm like, nah, son, like, you, 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 you young guys, man, need to fucking be, you guys have been told where your place is, man, like, you coming to right. me because you need me. I don't fucking need you. I, I mean, it's cool to be a customer, but I can get another customer, so yeah. you, you can get this money back or go, whatever, so. I, I told and when a guy gets here on personal Monday, I'll tell him, "Hey, man, I don't apo- I apologize for the the tone I was using, but I don't apologize but for nothing." Yeah, yeah, but everything I said was was I spot on. on right. So now and I'll break it down to. Him. But anyway, that's for me, guys out there who are watching, man. It's not I'm not trying to be a tough guy, a dick or whatever. But it's like I need you to know how I, where I'm coming from. That way, there's no miscommunication. That way, you don't go to another group of guys and say he was like this. No, he was exactly like that. So that way, yeah. so that way, there's no. And then for me, I can't run this business and, and be stressing about like I should have said this or I should have did this or I should have did that. I already said it. They like it or, or they, they come back. They don't like it. They go somewhere else. Simple as that, man. Right. And it's and it's never personal. No, it's not. It's just a direct situation. It's not. Me protecting my business. Because when I go home at the end of the day, I, I hold my kids oh, and everything and, that, and that's what <laughs> it, that, 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 that focus, man, when I do, it don't matter what I'm mad about when my, every day, dude, every day, bro, my I pull up, my son runs out the thing, dude, to greet me every day, nonstop, man. So like that little thing right there, I'll just smile at him, and then like all that shit that I was dealing with through the, throughout the day, it just goes exactly. out, and then you know, of course, you go back out in the day, and it comes back. But every day you come home, for those guys that don't have kids, man, and that's why we are like that. That's why well, I don't let people fuck me over. I don't let people fuck my time because like that money in my time is for me and my kids, man. So, and plus, you bring that energy home. Yeah. And so I, you know and, what I'm yeah, and a few yeah, times I have, and a few times, yeah, a few times I have, even though like I'm happy to see my kid, you know, whatever happened, like you, you, humans, you know what I mean? So I'll be kind of, my wife be like, what? No, she be, she be like, yeah, just don't think about business right now. I'm like, you know, it's kind of, yeah. that was a big, that was a big job that got canceled or somebody who pulled out. Now I got to get rent from here and I got to do this and stuff as a man. It, it don't matter where you're at. You still got to take care of those things if you're, you're yeah. doing stuff properly. Yeah. But yeah, man, it, it's, um. Yeah, man. So, guys are there, man. Like, you know, it's just people. Again, I'm just kind of putting out there. Just people watch, man. Like, you deal with people, man. You're not, you're just dealing with that person, but you, they don't know what, like you say, people don't know. I didn't, I mean, you brought it up, so I, I didn't really want to bring up your brother and stuff because, you know, I mean, mm-hmm. I didn't know what a pro, you know, I know it's still fresh and everything, but like a guy runs into you, t- runs into you, they don't know what just happened, man. And then they fit you with some bullshit. Like, bro, that's enough to get your ass whipped right there. What normally you would. Oh, speaking on that. Yeah. Ooh, you hit a button. Yeah. So we went out. I'm trying to teach, trying to teach some fine points of riding to my right. boys. Right. We go out to our little spot that's always vacant. There's a group of car dudes. They're there, fine. We park in the cup. We want to sit, let them do their thing. Right. And they're not like in depth car dudes. They're like scene car dudes. So at the end of their little situation, they're trying to shoot a video. Dude's trying to do some donuts. Right. Dude doesn't fully disable stability control. He turns off traction control. Mm. So <clears throat> he's trying to spin donuts and it's failure after failure after failure. And then he sends that thing up at a high RPM and he does this one big shit whip. And then how the Mustangs are, they adjust with the brakes. Mm. So the outside wheel is getting braked. The diff opens, goes to the inside wheel, but the inside wheel's getting braked too. And then you see his transmission start smoking. He's roasting mm. his clutch. So we're like, hey, yo, yo, you know, um, turn off your stability control. Well, he comes with some weird attitude. Hey, got it. <laughs> it has. No, it don't. 
Um, it does, but <laughs> press and hold it for like six to ten seconds. Like, don't let it go. You'll see the mark come up on the dash. And he could have sent it how it was, but he wasn't that good at donuts, so it would be easier for him to fully eliminate everything. Yeah. So anyway, long story short, dude come with some wild attitude, and I'm, you know, just dealt right, with right, what right, I right. dealt with. And he comes with some, like, who the fuck you talking to? Woo, woo. And him and his little clique start walking <laughs> up. I step forward like, son, I'm all about combat right now, especially mentally homin. Stu, you yeah. might. You know what I mean? And he's blah, 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 And I'm just like, well, let me kind of give him fair warning because what I tell my son, now he's a teenager, he's at school where people <clears throat> will try to try him and stuff. So I tell him, like, yo, you don't really want to get into confrontations, so <clears throat> don't be the aggressor. Like, step back. Be like, yo, yo, I don't have any problem with you. Like, be easy, mm-hmm. right? Let's not do this. They approach you again. Give them space again. Back up. That's two times you've given them the pass. Hey, I don't have no issue with you. Like, relax. Let's work this out. So as dudes walking up with these people, I'm like, well, I'm about to give him a walking warning because I stepped forward because I'm like, if we rumble, you're not about to knock my bikes over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? So let me step out of the circle of where my bikes are closer to the area of combat. Mm-hmm. We're going to get closer your equipment so I could slam y'all all all over y'all Mustangs and shit, right? (laughs) Using a Mustang against a person versus the other way around. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) So I tell them, yo, you're going to stop approaching me with your squad. Blah, 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 blah. They all stopped instantly. So I knew they didn't want to do nothing but do go, go. So he's barking, still walking. I say, yo, why are you approaching me? I'm just trying to talk. You could talk from where you're at. I could hear you. I heard you from when you were 20 feet back that way. And so, yo, yo, I was in, that was warning number two. Third warning, I said, yo, you better give me six feet or we're going to have a problem. Mm. His feet stopped like he stepped in some fucking glue, but he kept talking shit. But I kept looking at his feet and looking at him in his face and looking at his feet and looking at him in his face and like, you better not move an inch. Because then we've got a full problem. Mm -hmm. And then I'm thinking to myself, as he's woofing, he's not saying nothing substantial, all the regular stuff. You broke, you this, you that. That's fine. I know I'm not broke and all of that shit, right? So you can say all that. But I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, do I want to fight him because I'm mad? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Even though he's significant, I'm yeah. myself, I'm just upset and I'm frustrated. Right. He might just be having a bad day. He could be a good guy. Yeah. Yeah. But he's yeah. having a bad day and he's putting himself and his friends in the danger zone, not knowing nothing about me or what's going on. And because I'm having a bad day, I got a little aggressive, maybe, or wanting to be aggressive. I could, you know, when you feel that, like, right. oh my God, if mm. this dude, if he gets somewhere where I don't have to use too much energy to get to him, I'm going to do him bad. Mm. <laughs> you know, so it was just like, yeah, it's, it's like that. You don't know what kind of day or week or month I've been having. And then you came at me really weird that caused us to have the worst altercation. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so that's, yeah, like you were saying, just you don't know what what, yeah. what, what going through. You that's know? the only thing, like that, that story right there, man, is like, I'm, you know, I definitely hear everything you're saying. And that's like, you know, one thing is like being a dad now, man, you're thinking about that situation. And the, the, one of the worst feelings, man, is like knowing that you can't, you can only teach your kid, but you can't yeah. be with from 24-7 once they get out in the world and everything. Like you said, your son, teenager. <laughs> And it's like, mm-hmm. man, you can only teach them the, the the right things and how to conduct themselves because, like you said, I'm pretty sure that that dude, the Mustang trying to burn out, somebody told him, like, hey, man, this is how you conduct yourself in the world. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes out there and he acts out <laughs> like that. So, like, flash forward 15 years to that day, to that situation, and he's about mm-hmm. to get, you know, he doesn't know it, but he's he's about to get his ass beat, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and yeah, most, yeah, most, yeah. And yeah, people, and people and pe- Right. That, yeah. People who talk a lot. Cause the thing about it, man, if you're gonna go, like you, you, you seem like you oh. said, you said the minimum amount of words in a in a, in a situation. He just kept talking. So people like that, man, generally, like you know, you you me being also me being a trained fighter, you know, I tra- yeah. I'm not a pro, but I I train different things. I look at now, like I would, you know, 
if you're about to fight somebody and they start like changing their posture, their legs, it's like, dude, that guy is probably a kickboxer or, or certain things. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, or yeah. if you look at a guy and his ears are cauliflower, you can or you, you can see different you know, things about Sun right. Rumbles. Yeah, he's yeah. A so because I've seen I've seen a few guys out and about, and um, we're at like a I don't like parades and stuff because of my PTSD. And I ran. I looked at a guy. It looked like a Thai guy. And I looked at his. Uh, he had shorts on. I could see his shins, his <laughs> knees, and his elbows. Yeah. And then he looked at my face. He could see like the scratches. And then I had like the scratch, the witch comb. Then it's kind of like, we, yeah, yeah. We both, we both didn't want, we both didn't want to be there. We, I mean, no, it yeah, was. We yeah. were just walking, and we had to walk past each other. And it was like a little nod because I, I could tell. Yep. What he did, yeah, and yeah. it was like, you and we just combat, man. He's yeah. like combat. Man. All right, so so I was like, I was like, you no, know, at least two confirmed people here could act, that could actually fight. And it's like when you learn how, when you know how to, you know, fight and stuff like that. You'll find if you watch you know, UFC, the, those dudes are like the coolest dudes, man. They're like yeah. the coolest, chill, laid back guys because they already know they could beat people ass. They ain't got it. They already people have already seen them. You know, Mike Tyson, he, people have already seen him knock people out, but That's he still, they still want to, and you see that video recently with him uh, throwing hands or whatever. Yeah, yeah, he said he want to get back doing three-round exhibitions. And people, people who think like, Mike is over the, like, throwing like that. Yeah, maybe a pro guy will be able to deal with him, but a, a regular dude on the, on the street is going to sleep from that combination. You right don't want to deal with <laughs> yeah. that yet. It just hates you alive. It's just there, man. It's just like inside of him. No matter, you watch his podcast too. I'm pretty sure you've seen it before. Did you watch the one with Sugar Ray Leonard? Yeah, 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 yeah. And he oh just, my he just, God, he, he, you can hear mentally. He's like, yeah. all he knows to do is fight. All yeah. he wants to do is fight, but he's trying to be peaceful and it's eating him inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, like, yeah. Ah, oh, dude, I felt I was working on stuff outside. Yeah, and at that point, <laughs> and I stopped and I just was listening. I was like, "Yeah, man, damn, dude, dude that was wild." Yeah, this this podcast, man. I I mean, I started mine because I, I was I was watching so many. I'm like, dude, let me let me start because it's like this is so therapeutic, man, to hear other people speak. And you mm-hmm. figure, man, who do, who want to turn tune in and watch watch? You know, we're at, we're at one hour forty nine minutes now. Who want to mm-hmm. watch dudes like talk about? It's life and it's like because everybody else is going through the same thing and I yeah. I just listen in my background at the shop it's just me there I I'll just it'll be Joe Rogan you know he does about three hours and then it'll go to like a uh, fighter and a the kid then uh, Andrew Schultz come up then I I watch <laughs> like uh Breakfast Club a little bit they're yeah. not they're more like a Breakfast Club is not really a podcast it's you know yeah nah yeah. nah it's, but, but it it, it kind of keeps you abreast on yeah. things and plus they cut the music out yeah so yeah, you yeah, kinda, yeah. It you know straight yeah, so up yeah like, that's that's how I am I'm, changing, I'm all, all day I'm all day on podcasts so I don't really listen to music unless I'm like working in my garage at home because right. the music but, music to me is like a, it's it's cool but the podcast you be actually pick I mean dude I don't know how much stuff I learned by you know like I gotta yeah, actually, I gotta right. watch I gotta watch the new one with Elon Musk he's on there again and for Elon I'm Musk gonna, to be I'm on there getting rid of all his shit and about to send it to the space oh, I gotta watch it man don't don't spoil it for me I gotta watch it <laughs> oh yeah yeah, my yeah, man. yeah. <laughs> alert, alert. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta watch that, and it's like I guarantee you that thing probably got about three, four million views already, or more. And uh, you know, it's like for for a guy who I mean, you know, everybody's busy, but a guy like that, you know, is busy, busy, busy. No, he's busy, and he's dude. back on there again. So it's like he's he's seen that stock, and he's smart. He knows yeah. Rogan has the ear, and he knows yeah. he knows. I mean, anytime CNBC is talking about Rogan, dude, like come on, like, and it's not. Yeah. It's like it, it's a big thing. Bernie Sanders was on there. So it's like people like now, like, dude, if you want to get your shit out there in long format and, and, and like you say, man, like when you roll up on somebody, like a dude roll up on you, they, they, people, and I, I know for sure, I know for a hundred percent, cause I ain't perfect that I met somebody the first time and I was going through some shit or I just kind of, I could tell when I'm talking to him, like, man, I, I'm talking to this dude the wrong way. Like, kind of like I just blew yeah. him off and he never come back as a customer. Cause yeah. they kind of roll up on you. I'm like, Hey, I'm busy. Here's a card. Email me, and they be like, "I'm but I'm here." I'm like, "Well, I can't. I'm working on this, working on this piston right now. I can't. I can't take your order. I don't do that anyway." And I, I like I school them, and then I send them on their way, and then I kind of like I could kind of tell who's going to come back by the email that same night or not at all. So right. I'm not doing anything wrong, but I'm just being straight up. And maybe I can. I'm mean, even though I'm busy as shit. I you know, dude did drive here to come to my shop, but in that in that in that moment, you're not thinking like that. I can think like that now because that moment is not here. And I, right. I, I try to, you know, I, I, yeah, I try to protect, I try to, again, I, I strive for perfection, man, but I know nobody's perfect. So I'm like, Hey man, next time uh, I'll greet the guy, shake his hand. Yeah. Um, and, and, and uh, or kind of limit contact now because of all this Corona shit. 
But uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, you know, at least greet the guy. Hey, like, hey, thanks for coming. I'm busy right now, so I can think about it now. But at the time, I was like, hey, I'm about to roll out because he pulled he pulled in right as I was about to go out for a test drive. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, I'm like, hey, sorry, man. It's always the most inopportune. Yeah. Time. Oh, I'm like, I can be here 16 hours a day, which I am. Yeah, I, and, I, and they that, come on the 16th. Yeah, exactly. Fifth minute. Every time, like, bro. Yo, every I time, man. My wife said every she was time. Man. A couple of hours ago, <laughs> I was thinking about before, but the end of this ride, right? And me sitting home at dinner, and now you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I, I had to learn that from the track because. Uh, uh, I don't know if we talked about this the last time, but I mm. used to be doing stuff or I'm like very focused because uh, I'm process driven. Mm. So I'd be like, all right, I got to get in, check my fuel, check oil, let the car do its thing so I can check waters, make sure because it's rotary things. Right, right, I want right. to make sure all of my fluids are good while changing tires, getting that set up, air pressure, and then I got to get it back together and get back out there. Right. Well, as I'm thinking of all of these processes, somebody, oh, dude, yeah, I yeah, love you, yeah, 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 I yeah, you, yeah, Carl. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. I'm like, uh, 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 uh. So I had to learn to, um, I don't stop moving. I stay, right. you know, late on what I'm doing, but I, I'll do the, as I'm working, what's up, bud? How you doing? Oh, man, I hella appreciate you, man. Thank you for, you know, checking my car out and everything. Yeah, I'm in the mix of doing this, but please, after the driving's done, you see where I'm at. Like, come come see me, man. Like, I appreciate you. Thank you. And then pop up, give them a, you know, quick yeah, pound. That, right, there, right there is a difference between you being, like, you gaining maybe 10 more subscribers and them being like, nah, man, you losing some subscribers or being like, yeah, this dude was it. Because, unfortunately, man, like, it, that's the one thing. It's 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 like even though we talking about it, man, it sounds really simple. But like in that moment, man, it's yeah, like it's hard to do moment, that. The hardest and, thing. And the only people that really like uh, that understand that is other other drivers. So like mm -hmm. if I'm at an event, I got my stuff prepped. I roll up to somebody else. Like hey, what's up? I see they move. Like all right, I hit you at lick because I already know what they're doing. Yeah. So you yeah, you already yeah, you already, you already know. Already yeah, you already, yeah. you don't want to stop some. You don't want to stop somebody from like you know. Uh, torquing and stuff down and everything so we know what it is but, but most guys they don't know what it is and everything so but yeah man that's just like i mean even, even by me saying it like in this podcast it's like this like it's just like hey man next time a person come in because like you don't talk about it you don't think about it you be in your own mind because i am that's one thing about me man i work alone 100 percent of yeah. the time so like i'm always just in my mind man so maybe, maybe a situation that ain't really what it really is because you're thinking about it so much like, it ain't really that serious. you thinking, like, I mean, when I first started this business, I'm like, man, everybody, I mean, I, I know there's people out there that don't want to see me succeed. They're right. out there. But everybody is not because they come to the shop. So, obviously, they ain't, so I'm thinking they talking to the other cats and the other cats. I know there's a group of cats here that won't ever come here. They won't, mm -hmm. when they see me face to face, there's always some slick, like, hey, what's up, man? And I already know they didn't talk shit. So, I'll be like, yeah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I don't even, and I'll be like, yep, yep, okay, whatever. Now, I don't even acknowledge him. I'll say, like, what's up to him, but I'll keep it moving. And then they like, so he probably, yeah, he probably know, he probably know what I said. I'm like, I know what you said because it's, it's, it's a small circle. I know more yeah. people than you know, and I already know you said that sideways shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? It's, it, I, it keep reminding me of the story about, you know, when you said, you know, JTP, how the dude came to the shop, he said, ah, you stay outside. And I did that to a dude yep. before. I did I did it to a guy recently. I'm like, yep. I'm like, I know what you said about my shit. Go ahead and stay in the car, man. You because the, the situation is only five minute ordeal anyway. You don't need to come here with your dude. Go ahead and stay right there. And he knew why when I put his ass in punishment in his own car, he knew why I was yeah. telling him to stay there. He you're didn't like, even, no, you're quarantined yeah, and yeah. all the rest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He didn't even get out. And I'm like, you know that you come into my in my zone, it's like, dude, I control this. If I go into your workplace, you control that. So you know what I mean? People just saw the yard. I mean, again, man, I'm not. Yeah, I know. You know, you're not. You're not perfect, and I'm pretending to be. I'm not perfect, but at the same time, man, I think. But we're we, real people. Though. We're real people, and we respect people's their yeah. zones. And a lot of dudes today don't respect the, those zones, man. And like, again, man, that'll lead to you getting the. You ain't got to touch somebody physically. Nah. Just talking to them while their buddy is there is enough to be like, fuck. I just got embarrassed. You know what I mean? Yeah, because you know the vibe. You yeah. know the. You know, and that's what I, I like knowing things that people say or do. See, mostly now I'm so chill. Yeah. And people know that, like, I don't care about nothing. Yeah, but your zone, man. Do what you got to do. And, yeah, as long as everything is respectful, everything's good. So I've, if people will say certain things, and 
it gets back to me and I'll know it. It's not too big, but even if it is big, I don't care, right? right? And so they'll know what they said, and then I'll show up, and I'm around them, and I'm just, I'm just like this. I'm just very quick with everybody. What's up? What's up? How you doing? How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? And and the person that said stuff I'm still, what's up, bud? How's everything? All right, cool, cool, cool. So I've given everybody the same respect, right? right? Everybody just got it. You and I know what you said. Yeah. You and that person know what you said. The, the, the energy is just awkward it, as hell. Yeah, yeah it's awkward, awkward as hell, man. Y'all two, yeah. because y'all two know what you said about me. Everybody else don't. And as everybody's, you know, everybody's fellowshipping, it's a good vibe. But y'all two are the weirdos. Yeah. Because y'all two feel weird about it. Yeah. And it's nothing to me. Everything went great. The day was great. Everybody was successful. All right, I'm out. Yeah. And then. Yeah, that's that's the best thing you do, man. Because it, it'll be just like that. When we, like we said, man, when you go to sleep, man, I should have said this and said that. Yeah. And it's, it's 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 one of those things where even as, you know, as a man, it's sometimes it's some things you gotta like because you know if you say something, maybe it'll escalate. <clears throat> that's yeah, time wasted. Five. And it's like honestly, man, is it really that big of a deal to bring it up? Unless it's like detrimental to like character. Like I don't like people like if it's disrespectful. You're right. Right. Fully dis- Right, it got to it got to it got to be covered. But if it's like something that's minor, like you know, like people like I used to take the hard people say oh, I charge too much, and I'm like, what do you mean? And I would, I would break down like you know, Top Secret does this, you know, MCR does that. And I said a lot, but I'm like, that has no that has no correlation to what I'm doing. They charge that because they've been around for 40, 50 years. I do the same work. I just been around a shorter time because I learned more. I learned more stuff because I, I grew up in a age where there was electronic manuals and stuff like that that I can right. read that they didn't have 50 years ago. So of right. course we we're the the game uh, human human civilization is to be better than the predecessors. That's the right. that's how it is. So your it, son should be better than you. That, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 right. Cuz that's just how evolution goes. Right. He's watched it and seen everything. Right. But then on top of that same thing, MCR, Top Secret, all of them have been around long enough to know They've been around long enough that the person that's getting a car, um, they might have known Top Secret and MCR their whole life. Right. They're more familiar. They're super familiar with it. Right. It's a their dad might have been a GTR fan and dealt with Top exactly. Secret yeah, and yeah. MCR yep. or talked topped it up. Mm-hmm. Pinku style can do that. I just but been you don't just, know me. Yeah, I just got out four years. That's it. Yeah, you don't you don't yeah. know me. So until I can either reel you in with my personality or my work or uh you know or or my builds, there's no way that I can be as relevant yeah. as a top secret. Right. And I know that. Yep. Are. And so I'm gonna put my head down and work over here and everybody that does come in that respects what I'm doing, I'm gonna knock it out the park for yep. you because I'm here to do a great job for you. Yep. And the other people that oh well you and well, they, are you and they, they, now, yeah now that's what I do now. Like that first year I did have to kind of go at people and mm-hmm. hit them up but now the customers talk. So yeah, they, that's yeah, and, and that's the easiest market. Yeah. <laughs> the customers talk like one one guy. Screen, I I I left this local group, and uh, one guy screenshot me. I was like, dude, don't send me screenshots. And there's one particular cat. I was like, actually, I want to see that screenshot. So he 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 put what he put. Not damn full knowing that that was all a lie, right? He was like, he just he didn't show me anything. He didn't. I'm like, dude, all my customers like, dude. He shows pictures of everything. What the fuck are you talking about? Like all the customers, yeah. so much so the dude left the group. Because they were like, bro, thirty like thirty people, thirty yeah, people, man, like, like, they, like they, use a lot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they like, bro, like wh- everything you're saying is the polar opposite of what he does to everybody here. Or like, dude, he is. I got every picture job from the day one stored on my my drive. Why would I delete it? I show it to yeah. as my own Google that database. So they, right. they were like, dude, like you're lying. He, and then this guy was just like a. And I talked, he was like, man, nobody likes this guy, man, because he does. And I took it personal because I'm like, bro, he's out there trying to slander my name. And I'm like, I did a top, I did it, I did what he paid for. He just had yeah. a really bad car and it it just, you know, and he wasn't a good owner, man. And like I told people out there, man, with his business stuff, man, like it, there's been a good business and also you got to be a good customer as well because there's customer yeah. responsibilities and there's things that you should be doing. Like I, I had a video about that before in a recent situation the guy, you know, he just he showed up. I told him he wasn't his. 
he failed to listen when I told him face to face because I say a lot of stuff face to face. I'm like the email stuff is like you know I'm saying it right here, so why do I have to write it again? And uh, yeah, I t- what the, the it was an issue with the booking. I told him uh, this is a soft booking, meaning that it's not firm. So the date, Shame. right? Yeah. So I was like, look, man, and I sent an email out to him. His crazy email didn't go through. And then he showed up and I was at the track tuning another car. And I'm like, dude, and then he sent me an email. I sent him an email back. Then I called. That's the dude I called and went off on. And I'm like, look, he was like, well, see it from my perspective. I'm like, no. No. <laughs> I, see it, I see it from your perspective if I fuck up. If I fuck up, then right. yes, I will see it from your perspective if I'm being a jerk. But like, no, nah, dude, you got to, before I get to your perspective, what I told him, you got to understand where I'm coming from. And I'm like, look, man, again, I'm not perfect. But again, man, I wouldn't be to this point right now. If I didn't, if I wasn't on top of my game and customers come at you and try to make it seem like you're not on top of your game, that gets to me and everything. But, you know, it is what it is. I know people are different. I just like, again, I I make sure I say what I got to say. That way they understand where I'm coming from and things like that. So it's it's just, again, man, it's not even a business thing or whatever. It just comes down to just being a a, a decent human, like overall. Right. And uh, not not feeling like you're bigger than, because that, you know, we're all, we're all living I don't like the thing where I, um, I I respect and understand in 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 the hierarchy of things. You know, again, I can bring up Kanye and stuff because he's always in the news. But where he's at, but I don't feel like as a human that he's more important to me because it's just uh, I mean, yeah, you know, what I mean, we all do this. We wake up, we we bleed, we breathe air, we eat food, whatever. We do all the same functions and everything, man. So I don't I don't like that style. So mm. I don't treat anybody like, you know, I treat, re- it's just respect, man. That's all. Cross the Definitely. Road, yeah, that's, that's, that's really all it is. That's what I say. Uh, only two things I react on is disrespect and uh, respect. That's right. really it. If it's all respect, it's all love, laughing and joking. Everything's good. The second it's disrespect, it's a different type of energy. Yeah. And I just be like, I can and and I can still stand shoulder to shoulder with somebody that's giving me disrespect, but because I'm comfortable as shit, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I'm fine. I could be in any environment, in any situation, and be comfortable and good. But I don't fuck with you. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like you got you got boy, dude. You got it. Everybody I, everybody ain't meant to be friends, man. Like you know, one guy yeah. one guy I um I don't know if you even watch, man, but I know you know him is uh um. Uh, the uh, Tw- Antoine Twan, he, he drifts over here. Other uh, black cat and everything. Hang yes. used to be yeah. So we we had it. We worked together, man. And there was a situation. I'm I'm gonna eventually get him on here. There was a situation we worked together, man. Like where things went kind of down, and I I let him know how I felt about the situation and what the actions that he was taking. And he was like, all right, cool. And I like I I, left, I bounced out. So we didn't talk for like almost a year or two. See him at the track, man. And I'm like that situation. You were at MSP, yeah, your home track, yeah, right? Yeah, we, you know, so I'm like, we're going to run into each other, man. So the first couple yeah. of times, like, I knew he was there. He knew us there. He he kind of, you know, did his thing or whatever. Then then one day, I'm like, man, this life, some shit had happened in the thing. My man, life is short, man. He was yeah. going, he was going, I was, um, I was going onto the track and I stopped right in front of his paddock. I was like, hey, man, when I come back from the track, man, you got a second to chat? He was like, yeah, man. So it was like, he, we both wanted to, we, we didn't know how to, each other was going to react. And we talked for about an hour. Yeah. We talked for an hour in the pits. Like this, yeah. he was just like he was like, yeah, man. If you would actually, he was, and I, I respect him because he was really was like, yeah, man. If you would have hit me up like a year ago, I would be like, nah, man, go ahead. Yeah, it wouldn't you know. Have been that and then, then if you would have did that, it just would have been that. That would have been it. That would have been. I wouldn't have tried again, cause I, cause I, you know, it's like that one thing. It's like the internal courage and the ego. So I'm like, I stopped like the it, ego. It's the yeah, big it's thing. the it's a big thing, man. It's a big thing. Mm-hmm. And there, we all have it in certain things and everything, but you got to know when to put it to the side. And now we, you know what I mean? We talked for all or that whatever that situation had, I said how I felt about it. There was, and it was a calm conversation. He said how he felt about it. And when it came down to it, we actually were the same mindset. And that's, it's like that kind of, we're two, two people who are like aggressive and strong in their particular fields or whatever, but his, mm-hmm. that, that's pretty much all what happened, man. And, I've and, had the same kind of energy. <clears throat> um, with drivers here in my area yeah. too and same thing we all are at sonoma that's our home track right and um and it's it's it it was weird because um this group of drivers and myself we're both top level right. dudes right so we didn't shy away from lining up with each other we would if people were paying attention 
we were driving like we had fun. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was like bad, but then we part ways. Right. And then it would be some underlying typing going on and come to me this way and come to me that way and be like, all right, cool, whatever. So it was like that for about a year or two. And the same yeah. thing. We were at a racetrack. It was a it was wasn't our home track. Nobody was acting territorial. We were there. They were pitted over there. We're driving out to the track. One of the the dudes walked was walking past, and then he got out the way and he did the you know after you gesture. So then we you knew it was like I ain't no fucking bad blood, right? But we still hadn't talked. Right. But it was just like you know that was the door open. You know, it's like, all right, he ain't tripping, and I know I'm not tripping. So we go on the track, we really, we go have a blast, we come back in, and we're in our pit, we're laughing, ha, 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 and then here comes the group of guys walking up to our pit. And then we sat there, and everybody talked for like an hour, and the same thing, it was like, yo, yeah. I yeah. felt y'all was doing this, this was bullshit, because you know you could have spoke to me about it. Yeah, my bad, we were just thinking yeah, this man. one way, yeah, and yeah. we didn't even think about, you know, how that, well, don't do that shit no more, right? All right, all yeah. good. High five. <laughs> Damn, yeah. And, yeah, and it's that easy, man. Like, it's, it's that easy, like, to resolve. Like, there, there is, is that easy re to resolve, like, some conflicts like that? Because conflicts like that, there's, like, small stuff that yeah. that you, like, you you thinking, like, they thinking this way, you thinking that way, you, you resolve it. But there, I mean, there are some times where there's some things where the person does a certain thing where, like, there's just not, there's no misunderstanding there. There was a blatant, right. there was a blatant, like, fuckboy stuff. Yeah, so that like, was you're wrong. Yeah. Now can we move aside? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Some, some, kinda, yeah. Sometimes there's certain if, things yeah, where no, we can't. yeah, like I mean, if a dude's in your wife's inbox, like that's unexcusable, man. There's Big no mis disrespect. there's no there's no mistake there's no, <laughs> no mistake there or built. But there's some things where like you know like maybe he was thinking that way again. You come back to it. I was at like that particular that particular time where I walked off the what well, I walk off the job. I was I was leaving in two weeks anyway. It was, I had a bunch of stuff going on that he didn't know about. And, it, it, you know, maybe he was like, hey, man, maybe he was going like, I was like, man, fuck this. I'm, I'm running my business. I'm going back and forth between this. And I felt a certain kind of way about like, you know, when I, when I mentioned I was leaving for the, for my, my business that they were like, yeah. ah, you know, I don't know what he's thinking. But yeah. after talking to him, he was like, nah, it wasn't really that. It was just kind of the way you, you came about it or did this or did that. And I mean, I, I could have did it a different way because you now looking back at it, uh, talking about Tawana or whatever he did like he hit me up like hey man you still want to work over here because that that particular job mm -hmm. set me up to do what I'm doing now with uh, get it right. got it got me more free time um it got me more spare cash and I was able to sell wheels because I sold wheels to get the money to buy the shop and everything mm -hmm. so if it wasn't for him picking me up I could probably still be at that that other place so I mean I not, not getting respect there for that and he was like yeah I understand that and it's like men is men man everybody got different shit going on but it's like you know what I mean there's the petty shit man with all this stuff going on, man, just gotta, you know, what I mean, let it let it breathe a little bit, and then, yeah. then, then, because time between it, like, I really ain't that big deal. But there's some be some people in this town, man, where I just they out if they say hello to me, I respect. I'll be like, yeah, what, you know, what's up? But I just mm -hmm. keep it. I keep moving, man. There ain't no short talk, yeah. and nah. you know, what I mean, it's just just um, it, it could be nothing there because some things just can't be. There's no, there's not a mistake there. You, right, you, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? and, so, and as and as we get older, you get the judgment to know, be like, right, Yo, you, you're careless as shit, right, and you're gonna you do know? it again, you're gonna do it again, yeah, 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 yeah. and that's not, yeah, yeah it's, that's not an accident, you yeah. know, that's like we're we're parents, and you look at your son do some, you look at your kids do some, you like, <laughs> come on, dude, yeah, 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 you're falling out for no reason, yeah, you know, you uh, okay, it, that wasn't an accident, yeah, I didn't mean. To. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. It's it's, it's unfortunate, man. One thing I it just it's just with the social media shit and everything. It's one of the thing I and I told I told one guy before, man. Like it, it's it, it sounds harsh to say, man, but everybody ain't meant to be friends, man. No. Everybody ain't meant to connect. It's like whatever whatever it yeah. is, man. It's just it's just best not because what's going is going to result in trying to force a friendship. It's going to eventually somebody going to say something that's going to trigger somebody. And the more aggressive person is going to lash out and it's like, yeah, see, I told you he's a, told you he's a dick, you know, yeah. or whatever, man. So it's like, this is better to stay away, man, to, to, mm -hmm. to, to keep your positive vibes and this, hey, man, I'm sorry, man, we just can't be friends. You know what yeah. I mean? 
This is like it, some it, hard I'm, shit to say, but no, but it's real though. Because <laughs> I'm one. I have over 400 people in my uh, requests. I'm not adding nobody yeah. because, like, dude, if I haven't kind of come across you or I haven't come across somebody that we both know and you're in the area, um, my shit is open for you to message me. Yeah, you can say up but you don't have to be on my friends list you don't yeah, have yeah, to yeah 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 no nah, man that, that's that's you know it is what it is i stopped adding people man because it was just like then you meet somebody you want to really add like fuck i got five thousand motherfuckers on here. Like, <laughs> so and, and say then, hey man put, put them on the wait a, list yeah <laughs> yeah well then what if you add like a dismal beta and every time i go on my 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 threads my stream my timeline you're bumming me out. Yeah, it, it's happened. I just yeah. let you in my world. I yeah. don't want that in my world. You yeah. know, and motherfucker, get unfriended just as quickly, man. So for me, it's <laughs> yeah. weird. It's weird. It's weird with me, man. You see, it's like everybody. Does, and the reason why we got people in a for this like that, I know I got, I got, I got all these people because I don't. I mean, I got like actual friends. Yeah. Maybe, maybe like what? Maybe actual like people who I've actually physically, physically met or like talked to. Maybe mm-hmm. three, four hundred. Maybe, and that's yeah. like because you know they're saying like you can't really process that many people, and um, yeah, tough. So yeah. it's like I add people based off their cars, or like I look at their their car on a yeah. profile, and then like I'll click on it, and I'm like, all right, if this guy works it here. Like I got added by a recent guy recently that and I won't disp- dispose that yet, but that's still mature and see how that's gonna work. But the guy works mm-hmm. with a rep, a very high ranking YouTube. I'll tell you offline, a very high yeah. ranking YouTube uh, YouTubers, vloggers. And uh, I was like, why the fuck's this guy hit me up? Like, I'm trying to see, like, what is, where's, when, what is, when is, what is he gonna ask for? Cause, right. Yeah. 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 What's the, what's yeah. the angle? Yeah. What's the, it gotta be an angle, right? So, like, we're talking actually so far, it ain't been an angle. It's been like, hey, man, I noticed you're gonna do this, and I just added you. I'm like, you know, uh, it's kind of weird. So, I'll, I'll give it like a couple of months or so, then I'll, I'll move them into like the regular, you know, but like, yeah, most yeah. people, they don't, um, They'll. I never really talked to them, and then like they'll they'll make a post. I'm like, yeah, about the you know the do but the jogging thing I didn't know about until like the other day with a, you know the, and then guys like post up online like a meme about. It. I'm like, bro, like that. That's, Don't meme about that shit. Bro. That's not. That's not <laughs> even like. That's not even like remotely cool. You know what I mean? And then it's, you know, it was always two sides of the story. But like I'm like, far as the evidence is showing so far, man, that's only one side of that story, man. You know, yeah, because yeah, I know what I just saw. Yeah, what I just saw was somebody. I didn't. I, 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 I didn't even watch. I couldn't. I didn't even watch it, man. I don't. I don't even. Ah, bro, it's I, bad. I don't even. Bro. I don't even watch. It's like you know, you watch Hollywood stuff. You know, they they. Ain't, I, I can't watch that stuff like that. That they, really triggers me, man. And then I see the fucking somebody share it around show justice for the two, the dad and the son or whatever. And there's like six thousand people, six thousand eight hundred people. That are like for what they did and trying to protect them because now they're getting backlash. And right, uh, right, I'm like, right. I'm like, justice for these dudes. I'm like, I didn't. I, I'm like, man, that, that's six thousand eight hundred people that I would never want to meet in life because I know how that conversation is going to go. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like, yeah, and it ain't. About, it's not about race. It's not. And, and think about it, you. You a black. You black man. I'm a black man. It's not really the race stuff. Is just decent being a decent human being, man. Because it don't matter if that was a Mexican kid. It don't human shit is big. People yeah. forget about that. They really do, man. They really do. And like it's for us to say it to people, they're like, ah, oh, well, you know, you guys this and this, and you guys always living on the past. And like, bro, it really some really fucked up shit happened, man. And it's not only I'm not saying we're the only ones that were enslaved and stuff like that, but some really, 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 really fucked up shit happened that till today is still around. It's underlying, but that shit And it keeps happening. Yeah, that get over it, that get over it shit or whatever. Like, no, nah, dude, this you can't get over nothing that's never stopped. You can't right. you can't get over yeah. that man. And again, I'm not. You know, I mean, I you know for the guys that are my viewers and stuff like that, it's I'm just voicing what I feel personally. But you know, I mean, I'm not an activist and stuff like that. But it's just like what you see out there yeah. was blatantly out there. The information is out there. You choose for yourself. And there is easy now to doctor evidence and like show a video after the dude punched the other guy in the face, and then show like the other guy getting beat up or whatever. Like you didn't see that he punched the guy first. They just put, right. they just put the video. So it is, you can doctor it up, but as far as I know, that video was the full full length of what they're happened. looking to uh, they're looking to arrest and 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 put the guy in jail that filmed the video too. Yeah, because he yeah yeah that, it's that, yeah, and that's another thing that a lot of people need to you understand. You need to stop the social media shit, you, man. Yeah, I don't know if you deal with it a lot in Japan or if Japanese culture deals with it, but out here. Um, everybody always pulls their phone out and, and you just bystanding and watching shit happen. 
you just became an accessory to right. it. Because right. You watched a crime happen that you didn't intervene with, and then you broadcast and shared it. Um, and it's like, yeah, maybe if you've got enough of a lawyer, you can kind of yeah. get yourself excuse exonerated from it but like this person the first reaction is they're coming to get you right because you filmed it right you know now, like the thing about that thing about that if they let's say like these to like they did two regular caucasian guys from wherever they from imagine that they did that to like a you know let's say like if there was like a mob you know the mob is still around but it is what it is if you did that to a, car, a mexican cartel you'd be that person would be already did already done and probably a so, fa- and, and a family too. There's a lot of friends in Brazil yeah. that send me a lot of um, videos of people getting macheted to death yeah. in the streets from the whole fucking village and then lit on fire. There's I've got quite a few videos on mm. WhatsApp from that kind of shit. And it's like, yeah, I mean, that's the ultimate yeah. price to pay when you cross something in a certain way that can be unforgiven. Yeah. But that kind of stuff doesn't happen here in America because of due process and right. the law and things like that. And people don't take it into their own hands. But the people that do take it into their own hands are certain types of people. Mm. And it just happens that way. And, and there's always a certain other type of familiar face on the other side of that kind of action so yeah, yeah it gets kind of tough and and then it, it's as a father um of a of a teenage young boy um black boy that i have to worry about that kind of stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. um where it's like not only do i have to teach him how to diffuse situations because it's not always about the fight now like we could fight back in the day, one on one, throw fades, and I'm going home because that's really all that's about to happen. We're gonna fight. Um, if I'm more capable, I'm gonna win, and right. I'm gonna go home and eat some cereal and watch cartoons right. and chill. And mm-hmm. the next day, ain't nothing else gonna happen. Well, our kids, that generation, is most likely gonna get stomped to death. By hella dudes that can't fight right. but the second you get on the ground they're stomping your brains out right. you know kicking you in the head and everything so nothing is honorable nothing is clean nothing is of law right, right. and then past that what if my son's walking around somewhere and he kids dress the same now my son for, like me i always wear a hoodie and a beanie but that's just me but then my son wears a hoodie and beanies. Um, we already know a couple of years ago, Trayvon Martin, right. hoodie and beanie. Um, hella other kids that go to my son's school, hoodie and beanie. And that's just how it is. And if somebody says, ah, a kid with a hoodie and a beanie. Right. You know, please run down on him. And he's a good kid and has never had interaction with a policeman. And he doesn't know how to respond to a, Get your fucking ass on the ground. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa. Who, me? What happened? He may act unfavorably, not uh, as a threat to them, but like it's kind of a resist. Right. And, you know, they tell you, stop tensing up. Tensing up is now resisting now. Mm. That's the new resisting is you tensed up. Instead of like, oh, I tensed up because I just got scared because a full-ass man, right. you know, with, with a weapon, yeah. down on me with a weapon. Yeah. So it's like now that's that's a thought now, which as a parent, I'd be like, damn, well, that's a new environment I got to teach my kid about, you know? So it's just, you know, world changes, man. Like I say, man, we in a weird time now. Yeah. But I'm sure that we've gotten enough uh, tutelage from our elders that we're looking at the scape of things and we're like, damn, okay, well, we've got to change to protect our own. Right. Um, and then we kind of give them the navigation of what we understand the lay of the land is to hopefully keep them safe up to the point where they now operate under their own accord and, and just be hella safe. Like my pops had, had, had me gamed up to the point that, um, you know, never really went to jail. Uh, uh, the only time I've gotten into fights was was in defense of something, mm. 
You know, I was never an aggressor. Um, even though I knew how to fight, I did martial arts and everything and was all about combat, but I never was the aggressor, mm. never had to be. I never had an, enough of an attitude to, to be that way. So it was just like, hey, man, everything's good, right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But I didn't have to worry about a lot of shit that my kids is going to have to worry about. So that's why I'm trying to keep him on these cars and, you know, and dude, he has to. He can't even go to school now. Right. So he's on a laptop at school, and like we were just talking about, what coming on here, you have to turn your camera on because fools come through here swinging dicks and all kinds. Of, <laughs> yeah. You no, know, and so that's his classroom now. Is this, you yeah. know? And um, he's just because I've been on him because his teacher's been a little lazy. Right. Or I shouldn't be a little lazy, but maybe not not fully up on his tasks so he's been turning in all of his work everything and i haven't been getting the notifications that he has been and i got a notification that says he's turned in zero assignments so i'm on his ass like yo boy i know you ain't just sitting in here playing games all day i'm about to get in this shit he's like no sir i've been doing all of my work turning it all in i'm like well you email your teacher and tell him that he gonna have a problem with me if he ain't you know what I'm saying? Updating your stuff if you're doing it. Then all of a sudden, boom, boom, I'm starting getting texts. He's up to a B minus. Hey, he's up to an A now. Everything's turning. I'm like, all right, that's what I want to see. Because, mm. you know, now that this is how the new environment is, well, teacher, teacher, you better get on your shit. You know? Yeah, they don't, they don't chill into you like they got the porn hub on yeah, one laptop. Yeah, they kicking it. <laughs> yeah. There's so many photos on IG of teachers, the uh, female teachers, male teachers, somebody taking a photo of them. They're basically in class and they just sitting up here. They might have a shirt and tie here, but they butt ass naked down under the computer, yeah. under the, uh, uh, the, the, the camera. So it's like, yeah, y'all, y'all chilling. That other dude, he got fired because he shared his screen and he had the porn tab up on the top. No shit. This is like, Yo, my guy. <laughs> like, come on. You didn't see. You knew what you were just doing 20 minutes before class started. Yeah. You could have closed that screen, handled your business with the students, and then after that class is over, it's not like you got to drive home. You're in your living room, mm -hmm. man. You can spank the bank all you want to as soon as you're done. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's man. Like, so this, that's one thing, man. It's like you said, the, the video, this stuff, it's... um. Man, the social media man is like great, but this man, that thing's getting people fired left and right, and also getting people oh, yeah. convicted, all types of stuff. Because it's like you, like you got the actual recorded evidence, like with that video, man. I, I, you know, like I, said, I, I, I got my reasons for not watching it because my, you know, my whole Iraq stuff and seeing stuff like that fold out. Yeah, you know, yeah. The uh, but one thing, man, I, you know, for all the people, uh, you know, the parents, man, the mom, the dad, is like, they, I'm pretty sure they watched it. And it's like you seeing your you seeing your kid like die, man. Like that die. that 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 you know that that uh, anybody like that will get will seize a relative or somebody like that in their last moments. Like and what what led up to it, and you know especially if it's a senseless act, and I'm not doing yeah. anything wild. Like I mean, if you're robbing the bank and shooting at cops, like you're kind of gonna get what you're gonna get. Yeah, that just happens. Yeah, that, you ain't gonna that, say he's good, yeah. good boy when he's yeah, over no, here. And acting. people do do that and we're not, you know, people who are watching this at this point, man, you know, they'll be like, oh, this, like, I'll never get comments like this. Hopefully I won't, man, but like, we, ain't, we ain't advocating violence and stuff like that. Nah. Um, but it, it's like, you know what I mean? And we're also not offering our opinion on that right. situation. We're yeah, we're just about. talking. We're just talking, man. So, yeah, yeah. It, it's, but, but that stuff like that, like you said, a person recorded it and it's like now, you know they they doing it. they put that stuff online. I'm pretty sure they triangled it back to who originally put it out there, and uh, so it's like now you can get sued for like, you know, again like you can get locked up for being accessory. You didn't report it. You didn't probably turn it to the, turn it into the cops, which that should have been. I mean, we all say we should. That should have been the first place that video went to so your your, yep. your nearest police station because you just went you just witnessed a murder, and mm -hmm. um, now you're gonna get you're gonna get possible jail time and you're gonna get sued by the family for detriment to you know. They can claim whatever they want to claim, and they're gonna yeah. get they, they're gonna get that money because you put that video out there of a, their son being killed. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And then again, that that video you watch, you say you watch the video, it was the whole from start to stop, right? From mm -hmm. so, you know, what I mean, it, it's yeah. You know I mean, I know you ain't gonna if it's some some wild shit, you ain't gonna be like, nah, he was doing. If the dude clearly didn't do nothing and they ran I, up it on was, him, it yeah. wasn't good, dude. If yeah. I was an attorney, 
just yeah. looking at it, not looking at the race of like, anything. Fuck, dude, I can't, I can't defend you. At the situation, yeah, it's, it's, there's, I can't find a way to make this work out in in mm. your favor Look. because stand your ground, man, nah. Um, carrying a weapon. Unless you nah. bring, unless you bring OJ's boy back from the from the from the grave. He yeah, might, he but, might can get you out of it, but then not <laughs> this one because this one's crazy. Yeah. Just imagine you're jogging, of uh, truck pulls up, stops in front of you, you cross to get out the way, then some dude hops out with a gun. You see it and you're like, whoa! And then you, you know, because you're just regularly jogging yeah, yeah, and he's like, what a dipshit! Okay, let me go around him. Oh, this one got a gun, and then you go this way. Then the other guy hops out with a gun. Now you're like, oh, two guns, <laughs> you know? Yeah. But there's nothing to do. And then one dude shoots or approaches you with the gun. You're like, you know, what the hell? Now he's wrestling with you with a gun, and now you're like, dude's about to kill me. Mm. One shot hits you, then you start fighting, and then another shot is fatal. So there's really no way to, you know, to deal with that. Like so, so anyway, to get off that one. Yeah, because it's, 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 it's <laughs> yeah, yeah, picture, yeah. It's, 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 it's bad. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so then on the same accord, so my boy, he was lost prevention for a a big chain store. He's telling a guy, he the guy's in here doing bad shit, right? Or I shouldn't say doing bad shit because I'm not offering my opinion on right, it, right. but just explaining what. So he's doing stuff. And it's disrupting. So he approaches him, hey, you got to stop and you have to get out of here because you're doing a bit much. It's disrupting. The guy says what he says, offers him his his uh, spiel, and he doesn't leave. Well, people call the police. As the police is coming, my boy is like, yo, you have to chill. You're doing too much. The boys are coming. I'm telling you to leave right now. Not now, but right now. Stop what you're doing and leave. Guy resists. No, no, no. He's got his form of a weapon, a bat. Now, here comes the cops to the front door. Mm -hmm. They are responding to a public area huge chain store with people in it so initially the cop is public safety right mm. he's showing up to a huge chain store with a public disruption and a guy has assaulted one or two people already so oh he's right here in the front let me walk up to him hey man what are you doing drop that come with me no F that. Kill me. Ah, ah, ah. Mm. Hey, hey, hey. Put it down. No. Okay? First form of action. Non-lethal. Tased. Okay? Dude's being tased. Have you ever been hit with a taser Never. before? When you're no, no, I only got, oh. ga only got the gas mask, gas chamber. So Not, the taser... It's a debilitating, ah, you know, yeah, most yeah, yeah. people fall over. Some people can withstand it, but those that can withstand it is their tough cookie, mm. right? So if I hit you with the whole battery and you didn't drop it, you might be way stronger than me or you might be on something. Mm. Now I pull out lethal and you're walking up on me now as I still have my hand on the go button of a taser that's giving you all kind of hot. Mm. The cop makes the decision, uh, I'm going home today. He's already done a non-lethal. You've already, he should, he's responding because you're already hitting mm. people upside the head with shit. Bang, one shot. Now he's standing in a department store with people on back aisles. I can't do a, let me shoot you in the leg. If I miss and it ricochets and hits a little girl in the back of the department mm -hmm. store, you know what I mean? Center mass, bam, done, one and done, that's it. Dude dies. Mm -hmm. Very, very unfortunate. So my boy makes a Facebook post. That Facebook post gets out before anything, before media, anything. And he used a photo that was very polarizing. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. 
So he uses a photo that's very polarizing. And dealing with this corporate store, with this chain, there's only one thing that they're going to do. Get you the fuck out of here. Because that was, whoa, way more, way more energy and attention than we needed. So um, then you've got one side of people, that wasn't right. You could have did this. You could have did that. Then you got another side of people. This guy was in here doing this and doing that. It, both sides are never going to see mm. a median. But, um, yeah, because you made a post about it. And we not only do we have to deal with the facts of the situation happen and do it low key and under under media, you put this highbrow and the photo is too crazy for us to ignore. Um, and you also happen to be more popular than anybody uh, in that store that posts that you got to get up out of here. So it's, you know, it's, it's really tough to, to deal with those kinds of things. Um, and especially when it's traumatic situations and you're uh, dealing with uh, families that don't understand why I just seen this young man when he left the house this morning and he was fine. And now he's not returning in the same condition. And, it's everybody's fault because that's all I know. I don't know what happened between here and there. Somebody did something. So yeah. yeah. And then when social media gets into it and think pieces and posts and people that do not know what they're looking at to begin with, don't know, they can't decipher sounds and audio in a certain way. Oh, he got shot a million times. No, he didn't. He got shot you know, hit once, but you don't know what compression sounds like in an echo chamber. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, it, it's really tough. And so that's why social media with those things, it's just like, I don't offer opinions at all. Like nobody, all of this last four years, don't nobody know if I am against Trump or with Trump because it ain't nobody's business. It ain't. And it's not, it, it's, like, why does it matter? Because then it's like, oh, you're lumping the side. Don't nobody know who I'm voting for, who I've been voted for in the last 10, 20 years. Like, it's just those kind of things I learned as a kid, man. Uh, you don't talk uh, politics and religion. Yeah. Well, now, how yeah. everything is, you don't talk politics, religion, and controversy. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just weird, man. It's, again, man, pretty much, man. Just wrapping up, I'm about to wrap up here, man, because we gotta, yeah. gotta, gotta get going, man. But the um, the one thing, man, like we, we kind of hit all the road, man. The pluses and minuses of social media because this kind of been like if I go back and think back mentally from the start to the finish, it's just like we hit on the eat the e-sims and then like you know the meeting people in person versus how they betray themselves in the vlog, and it, it's just mm-hmm. like it's just part of life. And the one thing, man, is like people out there. I was saying before, I didn't even make the point. Is people who kind of shun it. Like bro, like unless you we ain't living in the nineteen twenties no more, man. Yeah, like it's we got we got we lives. got we got that like you I mean, dude, like now, you know what I mean, you got instead of like typing in the password, like I got this thing on my phone where I go to Google, it I only got my it only goes to my cell phone. You just press yes, yeah. bam, you on. So like is making is making uh life easier, but at the same time, man, it's 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 new it's like new stuff that you gotta learn. Like, hey man, like it's like it's common sense, man. Common sense should show you like that. Like the dude posted the picture, like bro, you probably shouldn't put that picture online yeah, right risk. now. Like <laughs> yeah. you should, you just everything. Everybody's looking for that 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 viral shit, man. And like that's getting people <laughs> screwed over, man. Because like everything gonna go online, and like with me, I I know I'm doing good because people will come to me like I didn't know you had that car. I'm like, yeah, there's no reason mm-hmm. to put that online. That I got that unless that's for online. If that's for yeah. personal use or my family. You need to know we got a new we got we got a new family van. Like that's not for that's yeah. not for you to see. I mean, if you see it in the background, cool. But like that, you know, I mean, you don't. I know you you don't do it because I, I don't follow people like that. You don't be like the every two hour update on my life. Like, well, I did this or I unscrewed the pickle jar. Like, okay, dude, nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, dude, come. Like when you get when people start posting like that, I'm like, all right, man, you 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 digging for approval. Mm-hmm. Like if you posting up, you know, results from an event or like something you about to do an event, that's different than being like, yeah, man, I just, you know, what I mean, I just, I put the Q-tip all the way down into the eardrum and I got blood on Deep it. Deep inside. Yeah, like <laughs> that's just don't share that, man. Like, and that's what right yeah. now people need, need to learn what to share and also drama, man. Like 
I'll I'll do a share to make a point public mm-hmm. of, of a situation for PA because I got a, I got my own PA my own person my mm-hmm. PR, PR sorry about that PR yep yep so but you're you're your own personal assistant yeah, as well yeah so. yeah yeah so when a dude comes here and is sideways I gotta I know what this dude's gonna do because I know who he, know what I'm dealing with before he even puts that fire out there I gotta I gotta kill it before it goes out so I'll yeah. do that but I'm not doing I've already said everything I'm gonna say to him so it's not like I'm so, because you know people who put shit online, and I'm like, did you say that to this face? Well, well mm-hmm. this shit's invalid. Did you tell them how you feel mm-hmm. to your face? Don't put online with some fucking memes and some un- indirect shit. Like, you know who I'm talking to. Like, nah, actually, I don't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, don't do that, man. Like, if you if you somebody on your friend list does some dumb shit, you hit them up privately or you call them. Don't, because you're just inviting that shit to be a, a public fuck fest and then everybody else yeah. just sit back like this with popcorn like yeah man go ahead go ahead and mm-hmm. entertain me and shit man <laughs> like yeah because that's all you're man. doing man Forget about y'all having a rift don't just like your relationship they don't they do just sit back like oh yeah y'all having y'all having trouble all right get in that problems DM. yeah <laughs> it's like, oh wait what does that have to problems because yeah. you got that dude to be like that dude from like five years ago who wanted to get with her just mm-hmm. wait just yeah. waiting now, I got my wife day one, like day like month one. She uh, went my wife yet, and so we were going out, and she wanted to do something. I was like, I'm going to the track because she didn't, you know. I was like, I'm. This is my life. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So she was like, something about something like I'm, I'm, dis- I'm, I'm disturbed or something like. Oh, I'm like here we. I'm like, look, if we're gonna do that, we can go ahead and not see each other because I don't fucking put our <laughs> shit online. Last time she ever did it, man. Last time she yeah. ever did that, and she took it down. And I'm like, I'm like, look, man, that because your friends don't give a fuck about mm. how you feel. They just want drama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just want to be the peanut gallery. Yeah. So I was like, nah, man, go ahead and don't just keep, you know, Facebook is what it's for. Even with the kids stuff, I was like, don't do the play by play shit. You know, do the updates here and there. But like every day, like that's, you know, what I mean, it's kind of it's too much. Then like, you know, for the daycare stuff. Like I don't, you know, I don't post actual names because you know you don't know what people can do, man. Yeah. They, you know, you, you gotta you gotta safeguard. You put that shit out there too much. Like, all right, this dude want to do ransom. He knows exactly where my kids are. Yeah. You know, you know uh, what I mean times and everything. So we, I'm teaching the military shit. Like, hey, when we go to Tokyo, don't fucking say we're leaving. Like right now. Ever. You post yeah. those fucking pictures as we get back when we two hours away from home. Then you can go ahead and yeah. upload that shit. But like yeah. I'll leave, come back, and dudes want to know I was there in Yokohama because they don't need to know that, you know what I'm saying? Because all right, he's yeah. gone for the shop. Let's steal some shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so you got to be careful with this. Uh, it pretty much guys are there watching. It's called OPSEC, Operation Security. It's a military term. Really- yeah, it's just it's a military term. It's just like you don't tell a motherfuckers we got 35 men in, our, in the south of Iraq with 10 AKs because they know that we got five, 10 guys, and that's, <laughs> and that's all the ammunition we got. So we sent 30 guys with rocket launchers. We're gonna kill them. That's just mm-hmm. that, you know, you got to be smart out there with this stuff, man. And like, you know, there's social media is great, but it ain't everything don't go out there, man. Or give it some time to breathe before you post that Use shit. It, yeah, yeah. Use social media re- responsibly. Yeah. And yeah, don't overshare. But just in the time that we're in right now, like the versus battles on Instagram, that's great entertainment. Yeah, it is. It's joyful. It's fun. It's celebratory. Those. That's the great thing of use yeah. of social media right yeah. now and connected with people that like you really fuck with. Yeah. It'll be great to hang out once we get past the the virus time. And yeah, that's that's just. You know, people that happen to live in warm climate areas and might have a pool in the back. Oh, that's tight. I wish I had a pool, you know. But all this extra other, nah, I'm not joining in on none of the peanut gallery stuff. Nah, man, man, man. But shit, speaking of that, man, we had, we had 2.41, man. We did, we, did a good, Hell yeah, man. we did a good amount of talking, man. I know you got, what time is it over there? Oh, man, it's like 7.07, 7, 7 something, 7.15. PM, right? Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. So Tiger like, King back yeah, here, yeah. Getting him. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's like I'm, I'm like, why, like the whole time I'm looking at the tiger eyes and shit, man. Like it's like right, is when you see the video, man, it's gonna look crazy. But the, uh, but yeah, man, again, uh, man, hey, man, hey, man, thanks for the time and everything. And like, we'll definitely, yeah. you know, it'll, like, you know, some people, man, it is nothing against my other guests out there who watch. It's just, you know, what I mean, we, we, me and Lex, man, we had a, 
we had, I mean, we, we spent time together online, you know, before we got it, you know, the, the, the Gran Turismo and stuff like that. So we, you know, as this technology came about, I started the podcast. You definitely one of the top, top people in my circle, which uh, all I want to do is, you know, get people out there. You know, one thing I noticed, you know, we, we all, we're all known by our respective people in circles, but it's like everybody don't know everybody. And I, you know, I could take it to heart when a guy like, again, mental came here last time and then I got 150 subscribers in 72 hours. Yeah. You know, what I mean, yeah, I was I was, crazy, I was getting ones or twos or whatever, and and, and it's just like he, his particular circle were are really engaged in what he does. So I could be mm-hmm. like, God, man, you know, I I could take you like, oh man, you know, I'm really not known and be all down about it. Like, well, that's 150 people who know me now, and they probably right. you know, probably 30 of them are watching this. So it, it's you know, it's not. I don't feel like slighted because these dudes don't know me. It's like I'm not known by everybody now. I respect. I, I acknowledge that. I mean, I'm, I know a lot of people, but it is what it is, man, you know, so. But it well, is. Well, like now, it's it's a media time, and yeah. people are going to find you, and then they're going to look through your podcast because they got time to sit and watch it, and they're going to be like, oh, dude's, dude's cracking. They'll yeah. Check yeah, it yeah. out, you know. It is what it is, man. But, hey, man, you got any, any events or anything you want to promote that's coming up soon, or everything's just even kill? Well, if everything kind of subsides this month, then I think tracks are going to announce that they're safe to proceed. Mm -hmm. So I was supposed to be announcing U.S. Drift Pro 2 shootout events Mm -hmm. all over the nation. Well, uh, you know, I was supposed to go to this next one in in July. Um, And if that happens, I will be going and be pleased to meet everybody in the north and you know the the Midwest and and everything and and have a blast. That's something I didn't even think about um, announcing turned into a gig. Right. But this coronavirus thing kind of has it on the iffy portion. So maybe it's gonna work. Maybe it's not. But I'm up for that. I'm ready for that. And then other than that, man, I've just been. I'm doing motorcycle stuff since the weather has been amazing and um, um, <laughs> shit, dude, just trying to do everything that I want to do in cars on bikes. So yeah. um, that's really about it. But yes, I mean, stay tuned to the respective platforms. And um, like I said, I just shared our other one this afternoon so that people could get get some view time on that. Yeah. And, our last conversation and then um when you get this edited i'll share this and 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 get some people enjoying that you know yeah that's all that's all we can do man it's the uh mm-hmm. that's the one thing i was kind of um luckily like i said mento he came on here and did that like i don't some people man need the legacy like they, they feel like they they want the t- like me 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 they want it on them they want the spotlight on them so much i'm like dude we can all we can all respect because i mean when you look at it what you do what i do whatever what we do collectively with youtube there's still more, there's less of us than it is people watching and consuming. Right. There ain't a million people out there with vlogs. There's a nah. lot, but yeah, yeah. people who stick with it and stick, because you know, like when you first started, that first one, you're like, man, I feel dumb as shit, like with this camera in my face. Like, is, is anybody really going to, so once, <laughs> once you get over that, for the quiet taste. or like, you, I know you've been there before, man, where you'd be like actually I'm playing, where you'd be playing with that setting is like, you want to record with some dudes over there. You don't want to. You don't want to like. You don't want to talk loud. <laughs> yeah, and you be like, like, like you hey, said, what's up, like, guys? What's yeah. going on? And like you said, stop. man, you be over there, like they be seeing you get. <laughs> they be like, yeah. So you be talking like, yeah, man. So we gonna go and get into this, and I'll do a little. Bit. <laughs> <laughs> and they be like, this motherfucker's schizophrenic and shit, man. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You'll find yeah. yourself. You'll be looking at it and editing, and be like, "This looks terrible." Yeah. You're, you're oh, dude. Cutting your eyes, looking at people. Do you got you got any uh, videos you didn't upload? Like you just be like, "Nah, man, I'm gonna go ahead and not put that up." Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Uh, I've responded or I've reacted to something. Somebody did something. I was like, "What the fuck is that?" Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, all right. Or or I'm talking, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then somebody walks behind you, and you kind of stop for a second. Yeah. And then pick back up, what trying is- to be. Pick like, back up some of the, the some of the videos would be like I'll shoot it like I actually when I did my shop tour I did that two times before but the, it was like windy as shit one day and then the next day the yeah. sun was going down so it was like lighting was bad and then one day it was like perfect and I shot it so the last one I shot is the one I actually put out so I got like about maybe four five videos that like I shot and then I'm like man I didn't really shoot how I wanted to shoot and it's just going to be like an incomplete story and I was like, nah, yeah. I, can't, I can't. So I'll, 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 I'll save it for like 
supplemental like footage. But like most <laughs> stuff, man, it's like it's like Good B-roll. Yeah. It's like, man, it's not even gonna tell the story, you know, properly. <laughs> and it's like, nah, that's not because people are like, what happened before you started doing that? So now I mean honestly, <laughs> I mean I don't know about you, man, but like now I don't I used to spend a lot of time setting on cameras. Now I just go to the track and drive, man, because it's like do it after you see you know yourself drift like ten times. Like all right, they get the point. You can slide. So what else? Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I've been doing that with with drifting and with riding the bikes with wheelies. I only put like maybe seven seconds of a wheelie in, if if even that long. Like I'll cut it. People will be like, "How long did you ride that for?" Hella long, but it doesn't matter. You you could tell obviously I could wheelie, so it's like you know that's just how it is. Yeah, that's that's kind of how I even got into the vlog. And I just put a camera on my helmet, turned it on, and just went. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's weird. So it's it's. It's making um. I mean, we still gonna stay with it, but it's making uh because so many. It's you know what it reminds me of, man. We, I'm gonna we'll fucking keep talking, man. The um, the <laughs> like when we before again we were we we're, we're older guys, man. So <clears throat> before when there was like you had the I got the HTP VR, which actually I'm recording this right now with a gaming. I bought this for gaming, but I use it for a podcast. Yeah. yeah. Back in you know PS2, PS. I had I remember in my old PCs I had a I had the uh, PCI uh, capture card. And it was like the mm. quality was like 640 by whatever, 480 sucked. Right. And uh, now, you know, then it was like, I got this thing and I'm going to like do all this game streaming. Now, like, you know, you don't, everybody's a gaming streamer now. Be- right, right, just, right, right. You just right. press share. You just press share. Right. So that killed that game. So it's not exclusive. It's not exclusive to be a, uh-huh. you know, I mean, a gamer anymore because it's like, all right, well, anybody can be PewDiePie now because they just press the share button. You know what I mean? Yeah. So now that's oversaturated and it's like now everybody's uploading, but it's like, hey man, I don't focus on what they're doing. I just do my shit and if people like it, they subscribe. Simple as that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the best kind of how I, how I was on my vlog. Um, it's just like you were saying that one dude Share stuff and he started getting lit. That's how my, my wife was, she keeps track of my YouTube stuff and yeah. she was like, oh dude, you've been 10 a week constantly. Yeah. And then my been vlogging he's been coming over and it's just been natural it's not like we even remember to tag each other right. oh it's links in the description we didn't even do that but people have been in his comments and been asking him be like oh what's your boy's youtube and he's like yeah i always forget but i'm gonna remember this time he put that shit in there literally 900 new subscribers no shit the last like whoa yeah. it's like i don't even know how to <laughs> service your, you know, fan base. Yeah, because you feel, yeah, because like, you feel like you probably got about maybe five. Because that's what I feel like with Mentos yeah, shit. Cause I, yeah. I'm like, man, did I get? Did you get any? Like, you know, did you get like ten or fifteen from my circle? Like, you just me, gave me, yeah. you, just, you just gave me 150 of your people, and it's like, yeah. you know, what I mean, so it's like, and, and, and but he was cool. Man, I, I respect and liked him because he was cool about it. But there's other cats where he'd be like, nah, man, I'm keep all 250 thousand of mine because you can't have my circle mm-hmm. because they don't want them to detract. I'm like, dude, we're gonna when that video finishes, you're gonna watch another one. It's not the last video on YouTube. It's never gonna be the last right, video. Right, right, right. And yeah. they be acting like it's, that, man. It, YouTube's kinda like T V. You oh, this is a new show I'm gonna check out real quick, but yeah. I'm still gonna go to my other ones. Yeah. I'm gonna go to my core. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that's why I think it's cool because I mean my homeboy, he ain't no hater or nothing and, and and it's all good. And and the reason that they were coming over, that they are coming over is because they liked how he and I vibe and the right. camaraderie. Shit. So, so they may be his fan base, but they are coming over for what I offer anyway. Yeah. So it's it's, like, it's 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 in a nutshell, man. It's like the when you you know you got the the upper echelon dudes like again, I bring up Rogan again. People like me talk about Rogan. Like I watch him a lot, but it's like you'll see <clears> you'll see again, like you like you said, case in point. Like I didn't know I ain't know shit. I ain't know who Schultz was until he came on there with uh. I think he was on there by himself before Charlemagne, or he came on at the same time. Or yep, he came on before. Yeah, so I watched him. I was like, because you know, most of the times, honestly, I'm I'm, a, I'm guilty of it too. If you see like, if you see like, fuck what Mike Tyson name on there, of course, click instant. But you see a guy that yeah. you don't know about, you'd be like, who? Because you know, because nah, you know, that. sometimes Rogan have the doctors on there, and like, I I don't really watch those too much when they have like the the doctor dudes or whatever. But it's like because he wants to know shit, and he has that power. To get the fucking source in there and talk about it, and that's the cool about thing yeah. about him. Then now all of a sudden, you know he he got five thousand, six thousand subscribers in a day. You know what I mean, and that, that's like you know that's in a day, and then now he's up to two hundred fifty, and that's like in two weeks. So Shit. even Mike, even Mike, uh, you know Mike podcasting. I didn't know about his podcast until he came on Rogan's. Never seen it. 
Mike Tyson. Uh, Mike Tyson, yeah. Didn't, oh, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So I didn't know about hotboxing until he came there and he said hop. And he said it like almost oh, really? at the end, yeah. So I was like hotboxing and then he, and then this shit, it had about, you know, a few, because he didn't really, Mike was like, they man, I don't give a fuck who followed me. Yeah. yeah, Mike don't care. They yeah. just talking <laughs> yeah. freely. So his shit blew up and they started getting sponsors and like, man, that Rogan rub, man. Like, you go in there, man. The real you, thing. You just, <laughs> yeah, dude, you just gonna, you, and that's what I'm trying to create with mine. It's like, hey, man, you know, maybe you don't, you're not as known as you think you are, but you come on there and, and then, but some people are like, nah, I'm known, I'm more known than you. I'm like, all right, cool, man. Well, you know, just go ahead and stay known. And Hey, yeah, stay known yeah. and I'm just offering good content. Yeah, good content, that's all. Man. That's all, that's all yeah. it is, man. It's a, and that's and another thing too, bam, on the end, man, is to, is it, I told him like it's not an interview, dude. We just talking. Nah, it's a good conversation. It's not a it's not an interview. Be like, yo, so what did you have for dinner? Or what do you, what do you think about like that? That'd be that <laughs> like, dumb. I don't know. Yeah, shit. that'd be that dumb shit right there. Nobody want to hear about that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, it's, nah. it is. Hey, man. I like conversation, man. Yeah, but again, man, we will definitely have more, man. Thanks for thanks for uh, you know t- time out, you know two hours out of your life, man. Because I you know again I I value my time. I figure I know my 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 customers with my guests. Value their mm-hmm. time, man. So I definitely uh, thanks for that. Um, I'll get your stuff yeah. up, get your links up again, and do hey, it. I got remember, it. I already got it. Remember, that's a tiger. And yeah, my last name is King. King yeah, so. it is true, man. So I'm pick, <laughs> you know, I'm a, you know, I'm gonna mix that up in there somehow. Hell yeah. I'm a, I, yeah, so I get, Lex is the Lex is the tiger. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out so. that title, man. But yeah, then hopefully I gotta play it in a point where I don't get dinged because they'll be like, what? No, trademarked. Don't get dinged you, and you know demonetized that, that, or something. And then Joe Zog, dude, he's, he's, he's going to get out of jail soon. And uh, He is, isn't he? Because of this documentary, they're going to speed that shit up. Because, they, dude, they got to make money off this guy. Like he's they got cash cow. They got to make money off for him because they already, you know, he got to get out. So <laughs> somebody going to be like, all right, what's his bail? Go ahead and pay that. Get him out. And they're going to run him for president. Oh, Watch. Shit. <laughs> well, you know, that's part. You, you, you know he actually ran for it, right? Yep. Yeah. That's what I heard yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. He actually yeah. ran for it and actually was on uh one of the, the late night Kimmy Kimball and one of those guys and he was like blew him off. They never they didn't know that was a tiger king. He was like, Man, you gotta be gotta respect it, man. Like Rory Jones said, he must have forgot, man. <laughs> he must have yeah. forgot. <laughs> He'll come out and shit, man. But hey man, all right, dude. Hey man, go ahead and take you know, have the rest of the day and everything, man. Have a good day. Oh, yeah, take care of the kids and stuff like that, man. We'll get up again and thanks again for uh this is gonna be Lexus King and uh your 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 the name of your YouTube page is uh was it you got right? I changed it, changed it. Kings of Experience. Okay, Kings of Experience. Everything you do is an experience, and obviously my last name is King. Uh, so so yeah, I'll, King. I'll get that. I'll get that from you. And uh, cause did your your URL your, the uh the URL changed or is the same? No, uh, still the same. Okay. Uh, Kings of Recreation right. or something so like I'll, that. I'll share. So pretty much yeah. I just copy and paste in the last one. Easy. Yes, sir. Man, so put that out there and everything, man. But again, brother, thanks for stopping in. It's going to be Donnie signing off from Asawa, Japan. Lex is coming from L.A. Comp- Compton, right? <laughs> I wish I was in yeah. Compton, cuz. Yeah. No, I'm in the Bay Area. I'm Bay, in, uh, I'm in uh, Richmond. Right. And my bad. Messed that up really oh, bad. Good. It's all good. No, well, it's 400 well, miles apart. Okay. It's all right. All right. I mean, every like, at least I ain't say it like you. Like you Everywhere is just like so Compton. It's like you're in Green Bay? Nah, nah. That's a different bay. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> 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 like you in Wisconsin and shit, man. But all right, man. Let me, get out, yeah. let me get out of here, man. Again, guys, thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, and share if you would like to. I ain't begging you. Do it if you want. If you watch for two hours, listen two hours, and you just click off, that's a, that's a waste of time right there, man. So thanks. Not me. Because <laughs> I still got I still got your penny, and uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, and since it's there, man, so it's all good. But see you guys later. And uh, send those questions at podcast at penguinstar.com and any topics, questions you want to know about there, uh, Japan, life, or whatever in general, and I'll get back to you guys on the podcast. So uh, stay easy. Be be safe. Don't be scared, like I say, but be smart and all that good stuff, man. And uh, come back for the next podcast. See you guys later. Donald Jackson signing out. (laughs) 